two. Don't play the upbeat music. Doesn't seem appropriate today. Um, welcome, obviously. It is Friday, September 23rd. And uh, usually Fridays are happier days. Uh, so as you guys can tell, I'm trying to be serious, but okay. As you guys can tell from the title, <sighs> there was um, something happened between uh, me and Ela. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but there was some infidelity on my part. And uh, things are not good right now. She's, uh, she took the kids and she's moved out. Uh, she's got, she's living nearby, but she just got a little rental place until we figure this out, but... I just want to say, like, we never, we didn't, like, have sex. I just want to say that, like, it was more of an emotional connection we had, which I understand is cheating all the same. You know, emotional cheating, but, uh, there was some physical contact, ultimately, but, like, we did not have sex, and I... I know it doesn't matter necessarily, but I just want to say that for the record. But I fucked up. I don't know what happened, man. I lost 15 pounds, and all of a sudden I'm so fucking full of myself. It makes me sick. Honestly, I'm so disgusted with myself, how I've been behaved, and I just, I'm so sorry to Ela. I've absolutely taken a match to my whole fucking life. Disgusting. Shut the fuck up, Rudy, I'm being serious. I don't know. Yeah, so obviously, on Wednesday, um, I did exchange a kiss with, um, Young Gravy. Stop. Why are you doing a scratch your what was this? Fresh and fit? Stop, dude. Please. I'm being serious. Uh here is me and uh Grave. I don't wanna I don't wanna watch it, but I think As the title says, Ethan does not want this video online. That's a good title, love. Thank Still you. didn't really get any views though, did it ultimately? Don't you no. think Ethan kissing young gravy? Ethan making out with a young gravy would get more? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I'll try that. Um. Yeah, so here's what happened, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys. What is, what is this? Uh, it's it's uh, great for socials. I All right. do it. Kiss. All right. Kiss. And you know, shame on you, A.B. I mean, you really... Like, you're a fucking friend, bro. It's good for socials. I'm not taking the blame on this one. Can't do it, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but I expect you to have my back a little bit. You go, it's good for social. I was, I was making Is that a what you joke. Say? I was making a joke. Finally, you understand me. No, clearly not, because I still did it. <laughs> so I'm saying, you finally heard me, and you did what I said. I for didn't me. understand it though, because you don't fucking speak straight. Well, that Spirit time I did. To death. Yeah, well, it didn't get through to me because you're fucking. Now all of a sudden, I start listening to you. You want me to start listening to you? I did, and you fucking ruined my life, you bitch. Shame on you, bro. Bitch. What, what do you do? You go to a bachelor party with like, and you're the best man. You go, oh, it'd be funny for socials if you fuck a stripper. You know what? Good friend, if dude. If it makes you feel better blaming me for this, then go ahead. Just go ahead, Ethan. I know it's my fault. I'm just saying like, damn, friends like these. Put my arm around you. I'll just right. give you a big fat kiss. And just a peck, right? No tongue. No tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you're looking at me so intimately, bro. Don't treat me like one of your milfs. Right, you guys can't see his hands on my leg. It's not even on camera. Yo, treat me like one of your milfs. You kiss me like a milf. Oh, no, guys. I'm gonna kiss, I'm gonna kiss you like, like, like that. Mm. Mm. Soft lips. Uh -huh. And you even gave me one of the... <sighs> yeah, and I don't know. When I went home and told Ela, I, I wanted her to hear about it before anyone else, obviously. And 
what the thing that you didn't see is that his hand was on my leg under the table. Shame. And things did escalate out of sight. And I have Shame. to say that I did like it. So that's what scared me the most. Shame. And I just don't know. I don't know. Ela, when I got home, we had a fight. I tried to convince her to stay, but ultimately she moved out. She took the kids and I am, my life is fucking over. Oh, look who's here. She still has a job to do though, so. Come on. I'll be professional and fill in my obligations to the sponsors. Do we even have sponsors? No. Today? No. He even tweeted it out. I mean, he. this is a declaration of love. And I'm very, I'm very sorry. Please take me back. You know what um, was the most problematic for me? I've never seen you so like shy and giggly. I know. No, I'm telling you. It's <laughs> like I'm being honest with you. There was, there was something there, and that's why I feel so bad about it. You were so, you were like blushing and like. It was interesting. Interesting. Even Arab World News did a report on it. <laughs> He said, Ela responds harshly after Ethan's betrayal here. Um, <laughs> How did you get that footage? Actually, not sure what this, this is. This is uh, Shahata. It's a sandal. She's throwing a sandal at you. Oh. oh. Middle Eastern style. Oh, 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 oh. I no. didn't even oh, oh. understand that that's what it I was. wish that's all that would happen. <laughs> ah. Damn. So, ultimately, we're just going to have to do the show. I just wonder, like, um how I should react. These are falling off. We'll just, um, we'll just do like Tiger Belly. We'll sleep in the same bed. Mm. We'll do the show together. And, uh... Right. Can we still... Do you think they still sleep together? I don't think they said they don't. I do not know. But... <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. I'm, not I'm just saying, it. like, maybe not exactly like them. I think that maybe I need to go on some other podcaster and kiss to make it even. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, that is crossing the line. It's only fair. It's only fair. It's only fair, Ethan. Absolutely not. That's a hard veto. I'm sorry, but I'll take the kids and leave. <laughs> take the kids back from your ass. Jeff's sorry. Barbershop. Anyway, uh, obviously, I guess, you know... Uh, uh, the gig is up here. Uh, we are doing a goof because today our segment is Clickbait Olympics H3 <laughs> podcast. Fight! We're going to be doing a tier list of our favorite Ooh. H3 H3 uh, clickbait moments. Ooh. Got you, motherfuckers. <laughs> motherfuckers. Hey, Ooh. throw your hands up. Got you, motherfuckers. Up. You all believe me. Psych! <laughs> Psych! You're such a good actor. I did actually kiss Young Gravy, though. Okay. Psych. Double psych! Psych, 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 psych! Boo, 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 booyah! Boo, 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 boo. Okay, let's go. That's a big, big psych. In your face. Yeah, so. Uh, hey, Gabe, hold on one sec, buddy. Yes, so we're having a really fun segment coming up. Clickbait tier list. There's actually, we've done this a lot. And they're really funny. Okay, cool. I actually didn't really feel upset. I just, I hope that everybody understands. It was cute. Did it turn you on? <laughs> no, I just no, thought, okay. I I'm thought just you were very cute. Just seeing. <laughs> By the way, I have uh, my... Gamer sup today is Black Cherry. Mmm. That's the best one yet. Really? Really? Hey, sorry, Gabe, one sec. What, what flavor you got? Whoa. Waifu candy. Oh my god. Wait, try this one. You like that one? Or is it intense? Black Cherry, dude. I love this. Yeah, Black Cherry. Waifu is very... It's a waifu. Yeah, it is a waifu. Hey, Gabe, what's going on, buddy? You're at the you're at the park, huh? Yeah. 
And I'm going to get the swing, buddy. Ooh, Are you by yourself yeah, there? Baby. I'm by myself. Yeah. You getting any stares? No stairs. <laughs> okay, Ooh. yeah. I mean, usually a grown man by himself at a park. These days, anyway. <laughs> Maybe there was a time when that was fine, but... Oh, uh, that's back in the days. Back in the days, huh? <laughs> Now the swing is just kids. Hey, do it. How you doing? How you doing? Um, what the fuck is going on, my dude? What's up this this weekend? Ooh, it's Friday, baby. Ooh, it's, it's Friday, Friday baby. baby. Ow, ow. Sure fuck is. my pit and bitch and butthole. Push ups. Oh, you doing push ups? Doing some push ups. Setups, trying really? to lose some weight. Oh, really? Baby. Just Woo! like me, bro. Oh. Hey, how many push ups can you do? I could do 10, 15. Woo! 10, 15? That's good. Yeah. That's not bad. Woo! What about sit ups? Sit ups, maybe, maybe like 10. <laughs> 10, yeah. I mean, those aren't easy, especially when you got like. I know from my fat ass, I'm not going to make uh, judgments on your body, but it's hard for me to even. You know, sit up. I'll tell you something, Gabe. I've lost like 16 pounds. And wow. la thank you. And last night, <laughs> last night I was cutting my toenails. And oh my God. I, I, I know, and it's embarrassing to admit this, but <laughs> before I lost the weight, it was really hard for me to bend over and cut my nails, thank you. my toenails. Oh. <laughs> and so, and so last night when I was cutting my toenails, it felt a lot easier, you know? So, wow. yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, Ooh. man. Are are you able to cut your toenails or do you struggle? Uh, pretty, yeah, pretty easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not overweight, but <laughs> yeah, you're not as fat as me. <laughs> yeah. Any plans this Good weekend? Ooh. Ooh. I'm just, just doing some push-ups and. Ooh. Oh, that's the, that's all the plan. <laughs> okay, out, that's it. All right. <laughs> After that, he's yeah. gonna crash. Yeah. Cool. Cool, man. All right, I love that. All right, sick. What what else is going on at that park? <laughs> Their families and stuff. No, um, luckily I'm by myself. Mm. I can yell. Oh a yeah, bit. Gabe. Uh, Ooh, while I have fuck, you here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck baby. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Ow! Ow! Shit in my armpit and tits in my butt, bitch. Tits in my butt. Bitch. Sorry about your dad passing away. Duck, duck, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about your dad passing away. Hey, I'm, I'm Gabe, I wanted, to, my man, oh, Dr. Shit. I wanted to ask you about this video, though, while I've got you, because you go to a chiropractor? Well, I went to one, um, Dr. Go, Dr. G. It's like one of the best chiropractors in um, North, um, I think it's Chatsworth. Oh, he's the best. He's the best chiropractor in all, all of Chatsworth. Chatsworth? Wow. <laughs> Chatsworth. Wow, that's a huge claim to fame. What's the population of Chatsworth? Like ten thousand? Uh, yeah, around, probably around that. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Ten thousand. Um, was this your first time seeing him? I was. I, I seen him a few times okay. here and there. Ooh. Ooh. He sounds like he cares about my weight, so oh, that's really? what I'm trying to do. Yeah. What did he tell you? He told me, you know, watch my calorie intake, mm. you know, Ooh. do the bike, you know, the treadmill, and be easy on the salt. Uh -huh. He probably, he's saying if you're having back pain, the weight loss is going to help you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Exactly. Here, let's, let's watch this. Hey, I'm here with my man, Dr. G, getting my back adjusted. My back's all messed up, baby. Woo! <laughs> So he crack it. He's cracking the back, right? He just rolls crack my your. Back. He just yeah. rolls your ass over. He buckles you. <laughs> he's body slams you. Do you ever wonder? Do you ever sit in there and you're like, "What the hell is this guy even doing? This can't be real." Um, it's it's real. You just gotta you gotta trust one. You gotta Ooh, believe. Luckily, I have so. Yeah, I just gotta believe. They're pretty good if you have like a back problem or muscle problem. He cracks it and you feel much good. Yeah. It's not you a do. scam. You feel Ooh. better afterwards. I feel much better. Really? God yeah. bless. For how long? Till the next time I see him, I guess. Hmm. Here, let's keep watching. I, I, want, I want to see him manhandle you, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Here he goes. Here it goes. Jesus. Oh my God. 
So I'm here working with my man Gabe and uh, worked on his spine, got him an adjustment and he feels better. We have some things we're going to help him out with his health, but uh, he's in great shape and we're going to get him in better shape. Better shape, Woo! Gabe. Woo! Oh, Carl Patrick, the best, baby. Woo! Fuck me, fuck yeah. yeah. Cheese, cheese. I feel better after this. Was he down to be in the video with you? He was totally cool about it? He was cool about it. He wanted, he wanted a video like to promote his business. Oh, so. he's trying to get I, oh he's trying kidding. to get promotion? So wait, did, yeah, did he Yeah, trying to get like a clients and stuff. Did he charge you for that? Good. No. Oh, oh okay. hey. getting that yeah. clout yeah. adjustment. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Did he it's ask not you cursing. not to curse? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't curse on the video. The last the last one I cursed and he was like, uh oh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Man, that's just who you are, though. Yeah, like <laughs> that's, that's the brand. personality. You know what you should my tell him? Person. Adjust my butthole, bitch. <laughs> butthole. <laughs> Adjust these fucking tits, baby. You know, everybody has a butthole. That's true. Hey. <laughs> everybody has a butthole. That's what the right. fuck is true. That's unifies us as a people. <laughs> That's fuck. That's true. Truest thing I ever said, man. <laughs> actually, that's actually not true. There's a video of a girl I saw. She had her butthole removed. I'm not joking. For some medical necessity, had her butthole removed. So actually, Gabe, mm. put a little small asterisk next to that statement. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I swear it's a thing. Look, uh, fact check me. Where does she have yeah. to poop through the tube yeah, or where, something? Where, Probably a bag, colostomy uh, bag. Yeah. Butthole. Shit's in a bag. I can't even pronounce it. Which kind of seems nice in a weird way that you don't have to worry. I mean, I know, I know it's like not, but not having to shit or piss, that's kind of fire. I guess. Right? Mm, something it just comes with a bag. Where, where, also, you have to carry a bag. Never having to wake up in the middle of the night to pee. Mm, I hear it it wearing a colostomy bag is not. <laughs> yeah, super I think it's actually I know, maybe like I know. I'm just saying. F maybe fire. You can get like a really fire Ooh, bag to yeah. put it in. Well, I think you, I think you keep it under your clothes because it's full. Of well, maybe we can shit. find you well, a doctor. You decorate it all cute. You can do an, an elective uh, proc, proc, what is it? Proc proctectomy. Proc proc proctectomy. Proctectomy is a surgery to remove all or part of the rectum. Wow. That's an elective. Well, I'm saying maybe we can find a doctor to do it. Elective. Just for fun. Exactly. Hmm. And then, can I, and then can I open it back up? <laughs> Ethan Klein gets his asshole removed. <laughs> oh, that's a title right there. <laughs> All right, Gabe, listen. It's always a pleasure. Butthole. Butthole. Um, oh, you know, and also I just want to thank you for that wonderful cameo you sent our friend. Yeah. Uh, sure. That was sure. so touching and moving uh, when you said, I mean, I was I'm just. I'm sorry about your dad passing away. Fuck me, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> They loved it, so you're the man, Ooh. Gabe. Always yeah, a pleasure. Appreciate it. Ooh. Have a good weekend, one. Okay, do lots of push-ups and sit-ups. Yeah. All right. Ooh. As I say. All right. Hasta la vista, motherfucker. <laughs> hasta Ooh. la vista, Ooh. motherfucker. Woo. Fuck yeah, baby. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Woo. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Ow. Okay, there's kids in the background. I'm gonna hang up. I'm Bye, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe, White Claw Gabe, everybody. One and only. Dude, I gotta say, this black cherry is so I good. I love it. This is insane. Y'all gotta try that black cherry. All right, I'll give it a shot. It's about to be my flavor. I'm about to take I, it. I switched to yours. So good, right? Mm -hmm. I'm about to make this the, the H3 flavor. Mm. Mm. You know, yeah. um, that sweet watching Dave middle. do the chiropractor thing, we talk so much shit about chiropractors on the show at this point. Is it maybe time to go do a little on the scene uh, chiropractic <laughs> segment? Ethan well, gets an adjustment. Well, I, I need I, one. I, listen, I would like to. I don't want to show up in someone's office and just be a total dick, though. You know what I mean? No, you can just do it. Just, just go do it, it and see. You know, get firsthand experience. I won't like criticize him while it's happening. Just go right. for it. Sure. I know a guy. You know, I don't you have know? back pain. I'm gonna go to the chiropractor and leave with back pain. Yes. <laughs> God, yeah. That's what it. happens. <laughs> like I don't have back pain. Why would I, I don't want to fuck with that? Yeah, maybe it's a bad idea then. <laughs> I'm in pain. Ouchie. Ouchie. 
Um, anyway, we've got a great show here. Ela, how are you? How's your week been? How do you do? Good, good. Talk to me, baby. I'm like Curtis. Um, right. you know. Okay. <laughs> I how you doing? I know, I know. Can I get a shout out to my pal Danny Buns and the Small Pecker Society? Well, oh, yeah. I, I'll have you know that I've been a member my whole life. <laughs> Card carrying. What is that? The Small Pecker Society? Yeah. Um, so I uh, hear some announcement at the top of the show. We're going to be uploading members' videos now on Tuesday, which means that for members, we will be having a video every day of the week, mm. five days a week. So look forward on Tuesday's members. Ooh. Next week, you'll be get to see me and Gravy making out from even more angles. Oh, no, here we are sharing a glizzy. This Wait, is there were more thing. angles? You didn't tell me about that. <laughs> you have to be a member. This, <laughs> after, well, kiss, but it's not, not that there's more just... angles, there's more than one incident. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. So this is a sneak peek of the BTS on Tuesday for members. We kissed, but now we're eating glizzies. This is the I next step. I think you're step. a glizzy. You're good with the gliz. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, good buzz. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's a good glizzy. You full screen. Glorious. Mm. Just microwaved it. It's good every time. Dude, glizzies, you can't go wrong. That's a tasty glizzy. That's so good. Thank you. By the way, I've been dieting hard, so that glizzy hit me like a fucking, <laughs> like a wave of euphoria. Yeah. You've Washed been doing so me. good. Thank you. It's awesome. <coughs> I don't want to jinx it, but I know, that. I know. That's, every time before, we always laugh that we jinx it, so I try not to say too much, but it's really awesome. I don't know if and it's... And, it, like, I see such a difference. I don't know if it's because, like, the Wellbutrin takes a couple months to, like, kick in. Maybe. But, like, one day I just started and, like, it's, I've just been able to control my, my hunger cravings and I've been able to stay motivated to be exercising every day. And, um, it just, it doesn't feel that hard to me right now, but I don't want to jinx it. I'm There's gonna, a hunger. There is a hunger. <laughs> And what's good, I'm still like eating food I enjoy because what I'll do mm -hmm. a lot of times if I know I want to get down and dirty in the evening is I'll just have like a tiny, tiny meal for breakfast, no snacking, and then I can crush like a thousand calories, 1200 calories at dinner. Yeah, I see you even like um, just like consciously ordering stuff that are not going to be the worst, you know, when we order out or. Yeah, so I've been avoiding carbs, not because of diet or keto or anything, but because I'm trying to avoid my blood sugar spiking because I'm afraid I might be pre-diabetic. Mm. So that helps me. Mm -hmm. And I think keeping your blood sugar low is overall really good for your body and your digestion and stuff. And I think I have been feeling better from keeping my blood sugar from going crazy. And um, you know what else that I've been doing? I have met a Metamucil, which is Psyllium mm -hmm. husk. That's the secret sauce. I take a whole glass. I do this before every meal. I take a whole glass, put two massive scoops in it. I drink a whole glass of, of Metamucil fiber before every meal. So I get, I get full, I stay full. It's a life hack, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. What's up, Todd G? I'll fuck <laughs> you till you love right me. And the words of Mike Tyson. He added a slur afterwards, which I'm not going to add, of course. Um, Ethan, is the sweat still a major issue? You know what? Is the what? They said, is the sweat still a major oh. issue of Belt Wellbutrin? It actually has gotten better. It's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I felt bad for Ethan because I was like, well, he it seems like he likes being on it, but like, is he going to have to sweat like that forever now? Because it was like, it was not unreal. It was unhuman. Yeah. But... It's a little more than usual, but mm -hmm. it's actually like totally fine now. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. So it's all looking pretty good. And I mean, uh, uh, tater tots are crying and shitting right now because <laughs> yeah. what are they going to say about me once I'm, once I'm a skinny legend? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no! You know? <laughs> Everybody leads with he's so fat and gross. Tell us more about Metamucil. Oh, you want to know more about uh -huh. Metamucil? I'll talk about it all day. <laughs> it's like a miracle shit, dude. Well, okay, so they have it in pills. They have it in biscuits, like cookies, and then they have the raw powder. Now, it's a bulk-forming 
uh, fiber supplement. It's super interesting. If you put scoops of it in a glass and you don't chug it, it gets so thick. Grumpy. Mm. It gets, it turns into like a sludge. And it's actually very interesting. That's great. You want that to happen in your stomach. Mm. So before I was taking the pills, and they're just yeah. so small. It was, you were supposed to take like 20 a day. I shit you not. On the back they're of it. They're big. And they're huge, yeah. You said they're so small. I mean, they're so small compared to, yeah. They're, they're small compared to the powder supplement. Yes. But they're big but pills. But they're big pills small. that are really annoying to take. Yeah, so um, those weren't really working for me, you know. And so I got back on the Metamucil powder supplement, and then you can just go fucking crazy with the scooping. But my shits are immaculate, obviously. <laughs> and what's interesting when I'm doing a really good dieting and I'm at a good calorie deficit, I almost don't shit at all. Isn't that crazy? I have like infrequent huh. and tiny shits because my body's using everything. There is That's shit. interesting. <laughs> when I lost a ton of weight in college, it was the same thing. I would shit like once every three days, a tiny little lo nug. What? I know, it's crazy. That's what it is. I use it all. <laughs> shit, my, dude. My body's it, and we need it all. <laughs> shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damn, it's black cherry. Stop, 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 yeah, and also there's other things I've been doing that helps like... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is my... Uh, this has been Ethan's icon on WhatsApp, which we use to like, <laughs> yeah. communicate uh, off the air. Since I've started this year, yeah. profile picture. <laughs> no, but Metamucil is awesome because it, um... it, it regulates your blood sugar level and yeah. it lowers cholesterol as well if you take it regularly. Um, I, w I was just going to say that I love that anybody that talks to you, not from the podcast, like from Teddy Fresh, th they also see this. Oh, and shit. I should know. change that probably. <laughs> <laughs> when I was first. <laughs> well, anyone that saves your number just in their yeah. phone whatsoever. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Shit. When they go to WhatsApp, you'll automatically appear. So. Yeah. <laughs> they need to pay me, dude. When I first started talking to you, I thought I was getting catfish because. Me too. Oh, yeah. sure. I met a measles catfish. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll change it then. Don't change it. You think it's of the vibe? Yeah, don't change it. <laughs> All right, I'm Metamucil. But yeah, I, I love Metamucil. I think it's great. Another thing that's actually been helping me, I'll eat around six or seven, and then I'm done. Mm. I close down shop for food, and I'm fucking done. And one thing that helps me, I've been chewing a lot of nicotine gum. I'm not going to recommend people do that, because like, if you, if you don't have any reason to start using nicotine, then don't do it. But the gum actually... Because I get the satisfaction of chewing, mm -hmm. having something sweet, and also right. nicotine's a appetite, appetite uh, repressant. So, you know, that's helped a lot. Drinking lots of uh, no sugar drinks, soda pops, and uh, stuff like that. And, you know, my cravings have been very manageable. Um, it's, yeah. I've kind of been surprised. It's, it's, it's so far so good. So I'm trying to turn, I'm trying to go I've, all the way. I've seen Ethan do it so many times before, like years ago. Whenever he would decide to do a diet, he could really do it and commit. And then it's been like all the last few years that just for some reason you weren't able to. And I think probably most likely the Lexapro, obviously. Oh, for sure. But so it's really cool. I'm, I'm just happy for you to finally see that you're seeing results because I've seen you get disappointed so many times, you know. I was starting to feel it was impossible. Yeah. And I blame myself. I get super hard. Like every night before bed, I would just think about like, oh, I fucked up today. Right. I ate too much. I'm a fucking piece of shit. I'm never going to lose weight. There's something about the Lexapro that like, like you said, I always had, whenever I got a little too much weight, I always was able to mm -hmm. control it. Yeah. But since I started Lexapro, I just, I lost all of my control of my impulse. It was so weird. I couldn't mm -hmm. stop. It's very weird because it doesn't manifest itself in any other way no. in life. No. Except for the food. Yeah, no, not really. And so, um, so that, that was really fucking with my head and I gained 70 pounds, man. So I don't know the Wellbutrin. I, I, I think it's, it's helping. I'm assuming, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, I'm going to keep it going. Yeah. Philly D is never, okay, let's see. Cause everyone says I look skinny, you know, it's hard to see it on yourself, right? It's hard. Oh, uh, it's like. So let's see here. It's become Damn, so I look apparent. massive, bro. Here. This wasn't that long ago, right? Or how no. long ago? 
Like April? 20 days ago. No, Wait, they call me Skinny no. Legend here? Oh, oh, oh. 20 okay. days on Yo, I've been dieting for that long? <laughs> Well, they're just using that as oh, a... Oh, 20 day of this post? This was posted 20 days ago. Yeah, the 20 days ago was That's the Pokemane Poke was on. Wait, yeah. so how long have I been doing this diet? Well, that photo with... Um, I-dubs? Uh, yeah, I-dubs and Anissa was like the week before I got home. So, end of May. Bro, I was pushing that thing out. It was actually... It was probably end of April because May was Crater Clash and this was before mm -hmm. it. No right. way I've been dieting that long. Yeah. No, you weren't. I think I've only been doing it really, really recently good for like a month. Yeah. I sent another screenshot. Someone yeah, show wrote. me, show me. I want to see all this skinny legend stuff because <laughs> it's impossible to see. You know, this this was the episode where I really noticed. Oh, that's crazy. This I, I feel like I'm stretched out though. Look how yeah, you, there yeah. there might be some slight warping, but even so, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Loving that. <laughs> There's something we can do about the face, just in general. There's and nothing the, wrong with the oh, face. Okay, okay, just saying. Get be getting some fillers here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> New chin construction. Then I'll look like Zac Efron. Like I'll look like Zac Efron. That's awesome. You know who would have thought? By the way, thank you for the gifted. Um, we got a couple gifted in here. Gift, gift. Hello. Hello. Okay. Gift. <laughs> gift. <laughs> It, 20 it, gifted from it, Prolapse Penguin. Thank it, you so much. It, Gift. It, it, okay. There was another one. Maybe you guys can just link it in Discord because. There was a five. I, I thanked them in the chat. Oh, yeah, already. five? Yep. From, Thank you for uh, the gift. Thank you for the, the $5 dono. Thank you for the dono. What was their name? Blanca, I believe. Blanca. Uh, Blanca, Blanca Hawkins. Blanca Hawkins. Yo, this is going to be me in uh, about three months, Hila. <laughs> no. I'll look just like him. I'll get lift. I'll get. No. Because once I, everyone gets filler, they all start the to look the same. By the way, did you guys same. talk about him? Because Yeah, I... people got mad at me. I was going, I was, I'm maybe too mean about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't think you'll be as mean as me. No, no, no. Just because I saw that he says that he didn't get any plastic surgery. That's what I'm saying. See, look, they all start to look the same. So I'll be, I'll be a member of their uh, community. Yeah. Who's that on the left? No clue. Is that a person? Uh, Rodrigo Alves, also known as the Human Ken doll. Mm. He's a famous like plastic surgery oh, addict, no. I guess you right. call him. Ela's looking exceptionally beautiful today. I'm seeing lots of comments. Thank you. I um, because Ethan said that he liked when I had blonde hair, and I did too. I decided I'm gonna go back. Next week. Oh, oh really? nice. Yeah, and I'm gonna go short again. Oh, hey. wild. So, I love that. Let's go. So I was like, today, I'm gonna go the opposite. Yeah. I love that look on you, dude. <laughs> Thank you. So good. My favorite Ela look, maybe ever. Really? Yeah, dude. It was it was popping. It was cool. fun. Cool. Um, speaking of popping and fun. Teddyfresh.com, new collection just dropped. Super fun, super exciting. You see this teddy bear yes. head there? 100% recyclable. Show it off, Elon. We are going to try to do this more frequently, like, because we work a year in advance. So whatever I'm working on now, like, you guys don't see until a year later. But so as things progress, you'll start seeing maybe one or two every month that are, like, made of recycled <coughs> content or has a sustainable story. We're really making it, like... A push now within the company. Um, so nice, though. This too. is. I love this card again. Already. Yeah, just like. Been wearing it a while, and then this T-shirt also came out, I believe now, with the what? little, oh, little ponies. The yeah, yeah. Who's wearing? Uh, who's wearing? Oh yeah, uh, Olivia's got that beautiful cardigan, which sold out. Actually, the first thing that yeah, sold out. Yeah, it's so cool. Good really nice anyone else pop in i don't but i had requested the uh the one that you were wearing the other day oh this one They're the kinda, water uh, airbrush tie-dye yeah i think that one's so cool i was gonna wear it today of course i forgot it at home sam is wearing the sam is looking sharp in the don't hurt my feelings to original yeah. art by Ela klein kind of a shame you can't see her full body though because i like the whole look well get out here <laughs> Okay, stand up, Sam. Stand up. Come on. Stand, stand up. up. Stand up. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't yeah. show. Well, you know? <laughs> well. 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 Uh, well. Let's get a camera then, damn it. Well. Well. I don't think. I don't know if you can. See. Oh yeah. There we go. Here. Yeah, Work it. Work it. This is Sam. Sam. Samantha. 
looking fabulous in her. She's got black boots. Throw those up. Yes, yes, queen, slay, 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 Love slay, slay. Love the hairstyle. Slay. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. I got the pug sweater on. Oh, which one? The pug. Our, oh yeah, show that off because this one is noble knight. Love. It's a pug. It's how do you call that Here. technique? It's a patchwork applique. Oh, patchwork applique. My noble knight. It's wonderful. This, this cute little socks. This is my favorite piece. Again, this is kind of like our special thing here. I've never seen tie-dye like this. Super beautiful. It's super unique. And um, it's absolutely beautiful. There's this one too, which is like stunning in my opinion. I love that one. Yeah, it's so nice. This is my fave. And um, that's it. There's a lot more stuff, but- uh, at, but... at the very bottom? That one's really cute. Yeah, I like this one a lot. So, yeah, which one, A.B.? Not a piece, but I just want to say is thank you guys for putting us on the website. That was really cool. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, last yeah. Night it's at, at the, the bottom of the website. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys for, for taking the photos. I oh. love it. Oh, we love it. We're honored. <laughs> that was an so awesome uh, photo shoot. We're going to do Sam and Ian next. Nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> love it. Um, also, we did a little artist collab in this collection with, um, if you just scroll up a tiny bit. Here, I got okay. this thing. Brian Blomer. Yeah, he's a really cool artist. Love the vibe. Yeah, I love his art. And um, yeah, so there's a few pieces with his commissioned artwork that he did. So sick. His art is awesome. Yeah, this, this is all the, uh, the designs he made. Yeah. Super talented artist. Want to give him a shout out. Love showcasing a uh, really cool, talented artist. Brian Blomer. Blomer. Mm -hmm. Blomer. Uh, check him out. Super talented. Vibey as hell. <laughs> I love this one. This, yeah. this illustration is so sick. Kind of Dr. Seuss-esque, eh? Right, definitely. Very, very vibing on that. But there it is, teddyfresh.com. Check it out. There's all kinds of good stuff there. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to say. Someone said, uh, anesthesia shave. Thank you for the gifted. What? <laughs> Hello. I don't, sorry, you guys know I'm not the best at pronouncing shit. Ola, the September collection is so fire. I bought over 10 items yesterday. Really? Can't wait to take pictures of them. Peace oh and love. Oh my god. Thank you so also, much. Also, she's going to see Zach live at the Troubadour. Let's go! Oh. By the way, Zach's birthday was yesterday. Happy yeah. birthday, Zach. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have a good birthday? Do anything special? Yeah, I went over to uh, the folks for dinner, and um, I think we're going to celebrate more this weekend. But um, yeah, it was a good nice. birthday. Yeah. Did you, um, you guys just kind of hang out? You got, what are you going to do on the weekend? Um, well, tonight we are going to celebrate Allie's birthday. Um, right. Yes! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and then Saturday, I'm spending the day with Chantal. And then, boop, 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 boop. And then Sunday, my grandmother's coming in town. So, oh. boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Nana's coming. Yeah. Come on. Give it up for Grandma. Nana. Nana, ladies and gentlemen. We Can we get her that. on the phone, Zach? Sure. <laughs> I want to talk to your Nana. <laughs> Yeah, um, actually, speaking of live shows, another, I know there's a lot of tough stuff at the top of the show here. Our tickets are going to go on sale, pre-sale, pretty soon here. Oh, next Friday Ooh. for members. No, no, no. Oh. Ne next Wednesday for members. Oh, okay, so this coming Wednesday. Correct. Members will have the opportunity, so the first <laughs> chance to buy tickets to the first live show we've done in over two, three years. Four, four years. Four. Four years. Yeah. Basically, the other one was like, not even the podcast as people know it today. I feel like. Yeah. You know? Oh, this is a very no. different. Like, that was in the. That the was like infancy. the first generation podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> version one, which wasn't a yeah. good version. It was an okay. It was version. okay. Oh, no, it had. It was a good version. It was a little rocky. It had to be rocky to be smooth. No. Dicey, dicey. It was dicey, dicey. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say, this is a nice way of saying thank you to our members because. I think there's 750 t tickets, so I a little more than that. But I yeah. don't think there's a lot of tickets, so there, there's a good chance that the members will scoop them all up. So members, you will get your first shot here on Wednesday, and then it will open to everybody else on Friday. 
Right, I'm sorry to people who aren't members, but uh, we don't have many perks for them, so I want to treat them where I can. There you go. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but we'll see if there's any tickets left. And for people credit. asking for information about date and where it is and everything, <coughs> that will all be announced on Wednesday as well. Mm. So all it's in LA, obviously. It's in LA. Yeah, yeah, we should say it's in. Los but Los it's going to be so much fun. Uh, we had so much fun the last time we did it. I want to do it, make it into a semi-regular thing. It's going to be our last show of the year this year. Yeah. And um, I'll also say the purchase of the tickets were going to go to a good cause. All the profits from the ticket sales are going to the crew. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Cool. You guys are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very welcome. You're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so, so, um, so that's exciting too. So win-win. People helping people. <laughs> what would me? So there you go. That's everything, huh? Oh, and uh, people are asking if it's going to be streamed. Yes, it will. It's, you'll be able to watch it from home. That's the beauty. That's why no one doesn't like us. Do it live. We're yeah. fucking live yeah. from the that's, studio. That's why last time was so stressful. We did that. We did. We did it all. We did it all, and, and it, we're it, doing it, it all again. A lot, but this do time will be better. <laughs> I think last time we probably lost money. But this time, we're selling, we, there was only 300 tickets, so this time at least we're selling enough tickets to where yeah. we have a, like a budget to hire a product, or like a product, a touring company, and we're going to have people like that are going to help us film it, right, Dan? Uh, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're going to bring in some outside uh, crew members so that um, they can operate cameras and everything so that we're not doing that, so we can be a part of the show as we normally Correct. are. Yes. Yes, exactly. And last time it was just for you guys. You two, mm-hmm. and then Dan and Ian. <laughs> that was nuts, dude. That was so <laughs> wild. Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah, it was a small venue. It was really fun, though, but... Yeah, it was fun. So, yeah, that, we're looking forward to uh, to that. Very, very exciting. Uh, Zach, um, speaking of your birthday, we got a special message from one of your faves. Oh, really? I know. We've been working hard. <laughs> We've been working round the clock to secure. It's hard to get a gift for you. The man has a Rolex already. I mean, what more? <laughs> I was gonna buy you a Rolex, bro, but I uh, uh, already got one. Well, you know, they say two's better than one, but you know. <laughs> give me Listen, your dream is accomplished. One more thing. <laughs> yeah, but like, who's the f- your favorite person? Let's say that you would want a cameo uh, from, or uh, not even a cameo. We pulled strings. This is all cameo. <laughs> favorite person to get? Um, probably Dave Grohl. Would be Dave a, Grohl. Yeah, probably Dave Grohl. Well, <laughs> well, are you ready? Here is well? the big surprise. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we got the Hebrew subtitle. <laughs> Damn. Cantor Weiner here. <laughs> Marakim. Okay. He's a good No, he's a town. What? Yeah, no, he's a <laughs> The thing is, Jimmy always, yeah. Wow. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. And uh, there's actually one other thing here for Zach's birthday. Uh, What's your age? 25? 25. Well, here's a cake with a special message on the top front there. Yeah. If we can just get a shot, it's... You could just read it out. Yeah, maybe just show it to the people. You want to read it, Zach? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Lewis, live in the Troubadour, January 13th. Right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'll this is it. so sweet. Thank you so much. It's an ice cream cake, I understand. Oh. Are you going to be is. having some with me? It is. I'll be taking a, yeah, I'll be go. taking a hit of it. <laughs> wow. Thank, thank you so much. This is very sweet. Make Happy, Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you for the birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Live with Trooper or Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jimmy is just, in, he's just incredible multi-talented guy. He that was kind sang- of impressive. Yes. He, uh, <laughs> he'll call me and just, uh, 
play that. Like, what? They'll be like, name a tune, Zach. We like the same <laughs> song. Name oh a tune. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, well, well, Zach, well um, he used to send me, per, to my personal email, videos of him playing a song with his own lyrics, but it was copyrighted, oh. so I could never show it on the show. Oh, yeah. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, but he's actually a really talented <laughs> guy, and what can you do about it? Yeah, also, so we'll do one more thing. So, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's one other thing I wanted to just briefly talk about before we get into the nitty-gritty, meaty, mushy of the show. Yesterday on Leftovers, we had a great episode. We talked about a lot of the drama that happened on Twitch, including the story of a Twitch streamer named Delinity. A lot of people were assuming that I didn't talk to her uh, ahead of time and thought that I was using her story to like get at get at someone. And so I did want to make clear that we actually talked a lot before then. And um, she she gave me the permission to do this segment. She was afraid that some bad people were going to uh, dogpile on her. And so she was afraid to talk about it. And unfortunately, that is what happened. These guys are such fucking scumbags. And Alinity has just been dogpiled in the whole history of the internet, you know? Mm. It's just been fucked up. And they're still doing it now. And I feel I feel horrible, honestly. It's... Ugh. It just makes me feel sad. And so I wanted to just say, guys, go send some love and support to Alinity right. to make sure that she doesn't... What happens to her last time doesn't happen to her again, where nobody's fucking supporting her. And a bunch of pieces of shit are just fucking lying about her when she's actually the victim of sexual harassment. So just send some love to Alinity and support uh, because uh, I want her to know that people do support her. Yeah. And that's all I want to say about that. It sucks for her how things always... Um, I don't know why people just love to, to shit on her, like you said. Well, well... Train has a vested interest in delegitimizing and destroying her character as much as possible. And that's basically all I'll say about that. And he's friends with everybody. Mm-hmm. Or so- somehow, people are still friends with that guy. But there it is. W. Alinity. Winity. A Winity. Real Alinity. But I mean, like, no matter what you think, if you're like, oh, she shouldn't have, like, thrown her cat or something, which. Personally, I think was a, that drama was a little overblown. I mean, I don't have a cat, but from what I understand, it's not the biggest thing in the deal. I, I, we don't need to rehash this. I'm not trying to bring... I'm just saying, no matter what you think, I personally uh, don't... Uh, but no matter what you think, she doesn't deserve to be fucking dogpiled like what happened to her in the past. That's it. She doesn't deserve to be harassed and humiliated and called a liar. I mean, that's it. So yeah. we support. We she stand. We she stand sure is. And support. Yeah. There it is. But you know, there was like there was two separate things. One was like the cat thing, which I I get people. It was like were, years ago, and it was yeah. just overblown, out of proportion. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a Keemstar thing. He was selling shirts with her on it. Also, it doesn't justify dogpiling on her after she shared her story. Well, people so. were well, people were like calling, um, like the police trying to get her cats taken away. Yeah, I just mean the two situations are completely, completely oh different. yeah, they right? are completely the, the, different. Like this does not justify this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Well, people yeah. go, well, oh, you were part of that dog pile because. And by the way, if you go back and watch our clips, we were always very supportive of her. Even during the cat thing, we were like, the reaction to this is fucking ridiculous. I never commented on the train thing, but I want people to know that those are two separate fucking issues. Mm-hmm. Okay, not they're not even connected in the slightest bit. Um, and the way that people reacted to her at her statement against train, if you go look at the comments on her tweet, I haven't it's fucking repulsive, oh, dude. Sick. I'm scared. Messed up. So anyway, we support, we stand, and. Uh, it was brave of her to talk to me and even to say, you know, you can do this segment uh, because uh, it did it did blow back on her, and I, I feel very sorry about that. But there it is. Uh, 
here it is, and here we go. Let's do the show. Um, so, what is this one? Oh, that's just your new favorite. What, this response. picture of you, A.B.? Yeah. Yeah, this, I respond to every, <laughs> I don't know why, every single tweet, <laughs> I just respond. Because this is such a good photo. Yeah, AB, I love him. A.B. sent in our crew chat a few days ago, he sent this screenshot and was like, when you tell Ethan you don't like a photo. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this is not an attack on you. Like, yeah. And that isn't the real, and that also, that isn't I the real I appreciate photo. you using yeah. this version. I'm yeah. okay with this version. <laughs> this one's funny. Yeah. But this one's just so funny. And I mean, you know, you, this one shouldn't make you feel bad, right? No, 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 I like this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Do we have the great. one where somebody put Ethan's face on that? See, yeah. that one I don't like. We're gonna, <laughs> gonna, oh, gonna, you don't like that, New huh? development. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, mm. put a ban on that one. Interesting. If you can pull it up, yeah, we'll show it once yeah. and once only. <laughs> then it will be uh, scrubbed from the internet. Are you throwing it in uh, Discord oh, yeah. right now? Yeah, I'm just grabbing it from my favorites. <laughs> Your from favorites. His favorites. Without further ado, it is. I think I look kind of tight. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not even gonna hate it. <laughs> I think it's fire. I look like oh, man. a badass wrestler. Trailer park trash. <laughs> this is us fused. No, he, you know who he looks like, Dan? is one of the American males. You know that, oh. old, that old wrestling Well, video? he already looked like that one. Right, and right, And then this right. just really... You remember, unfortunately, we can't play it, which sucks, because it's the fucking funniest video ever, but we got claimed <laughs> when we did. But the that wrestling promo from the 90s, the American males... I uh, don't remember it. Here, you'll, you'll recognize the picture, because people post it on Twitter replies all the time. Here, but I'm uh, down with this. I like it. These guys. You know? Oh yeah, that guy looks just like me. Dude, it's oh, fucking this. nuts. <laughs> I tweeted out a photo and it trips Dude, people out. They go, totally. is that Ethan? That's an uncle or something. Is it that nuts? Wait, so that this one is not photoshopped. It's not edited no. at all. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that many that's times. That's messed up. It's crazy. You think he's like me, dude? I always thought it was Photoshop. No, that's what he looks like. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even realize. No, nope, that's does that's he look? The real thing. Is it just this angle, or does he look like me? Like in I, the actual video, it's much less so in the mm, American video. There's just something video. about this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like I, that's you. Yeah, that's you in six months. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, keep he, up the diet. <laughs> yeah, see, he doesn't look like yeah. Me. Here yeah. In another, it's just in that one photo for so funny. It's so I think it's the eye. Eyes and maybe the the brow line or something, something like that. About oh, the, the mouth. Yeah, too. it's Here, the way that one. it's like. Does that one look yeah. like me? No. Not I see it. I, not personally, as much. It's yeah. more in this one, but less than the other. It's like the way he's holding his face, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Long lost <laughs> uncle. <laughs> it's awesome. I that guy's just swagged out, bro. I'll take it. He, fuck, <laughs> he fucks. Dude. That's an American <laughs> male right there. Eat your heart out, Andrew Tate. It's yeah. so sad we can't play the video. It's the fucking funniest thing. Cool. Ever seen. I guess you need the music. For you, the music is what it's all about, yeah. Oh, Ethan, you should go blonde with Ela. Oh. Yo. Let's go. I'm going to touch up my hair. We'll look like the Cullens. <laughs> I'm down. I always like doing that stuff. Thank you, Sam. I'll take a tiny, the smaller. I mean, I just. Oh, mama, chocolate cake. I love Zach's birthday. Thank you very much for the cake, guys. Mm. I do appreciate it. Oh, mama. Wow. Hi, Ela. My wife and I are having our first baby. Will there ever be a Teddy Fresh release for babies' kids? Um, the only reason we haven't done it is because I don't know how many of our audience has reached that age where they have babies for it to be, like, you know, a substantial amount. But we might. I, I obviously know a lot about it now, having experienced two boys. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, good luck. With the baby. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Someone take this away from you. Okay. We could just share one if you guys want. No, I'm done. Take it. Okay. Yeah, Please. I'm saying I can, I can share. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna give a shout out to Sam for always. I know yeah. she, she bought this one. Help me. Always bringing desserts, yeah. and I found out Ian bakes now too. Ian brought a good dessert earlier this Ooh. week. Ooh. Yeah, it was busting. Yeah, thank you. Shout out Sam. Shout Andy out Sam. Sam. They also brought in some leftover uh, cooter, charcuterie board. That was quite tasty. Sharing with the office. I only learned that word kind of recently, and I love saying it. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> yeah, before we get to the main segment, I just love these posts, man. There's like, people have been posting text messages, or this one's a clip from a subreddit. I don't know what the context was. But it seems like all my haters seem to think that uh, 
I'm just too fat to like. I love this stuff. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's so funny. It is very interesting. But you, you're not supposed to write that. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to write, I hate him because he's fat. You're supposed to keep that to yeah, yourself. Yeah, when did that become like a thing that people do? When they have nothing else on you? <laughs> I just... But even or so. that I'm fat. <laughs> Here, I'll read this. Bro, he changed the entire format of his content, migrated to the opposite side of the political spectrum, and became borderline radicalized there. He gained 90 pounds and became so noticeably spite-filled. I'll have you know I've been spite-filled. <laughs> did you you claim you're a fan? Have you not seen my old videos, bro? Yeah. I've, I've been running on spite my whole life. <laughs> Bitter and hateful. That's just because you now like the people that I'm shitting on. Yeah. That's why it feels bitter now. And it's now awkward to watch him fumbling around his words while he goes on another rage-fueled rant about something he hasn't researched or even understands on a superficial level. That's not new either. Okay. He's always yeah, I've always, yeah, words. exactly. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Th thanks for standing up for me, buddy. <laughs> He's the exact type of person he used to be critical of. That's it. Miss the old H3. Straight from the, straight from Israel H3. <laughs> I get that he has made some positive changes in how he sees the world, and that's great, but that simply doesn't outweigh the other negative changes to- what is HOAs? To... I don't know what HOS is. What's in the con- Where? what's the context? Show me. Where do you see it? Other negative changes- Oh, it's just- ah, It's just his. Yeah, it's oh, just typo. a typo. I would, wasn't sure- okay, okay. Uh, personality, no matter how hard is weird, barely stable fans. Oh, don't go after the fans. Try Excuse to gaslight me. people into thinking he does. There it is, man. Fat, barely fat, stable fat. fans. We hate the fatties! That yeah, reply I, is so funny, oh, though. There Are you going to read that one? What, the reply? Yeah. I agree. Even though he's grown as a person, advocates for uh, women's, trans, LGBTQ rights, calls out bad behavior, takes responsibilities for his action, provides dozens of hours of entertainment content every week, and is one of the only honest people on the internet. It just simply doesn't outweigh the fact that he's fat. <laughs> That's so fucking true, man. So true. Well, I'm working on it. Thank you, fat, by the way, to Sweet Consciousness. Stupid. You know, I gotta say, <laughs> thank you to our fans. I love you guys. You guys really have my back sometimes uh, when I see comments like this, and it's nice to see because... The perception people have of me, like the fallen fan thing, is just so weird. Also, how am I radicalized? I mean, how does he think you migrated to the opposite side of the political spectrum? Yeah, we've, again, we've always said the same stuff, like, and we've always been transparent about it. I think so. We have. I mean, I've been a lot more open about it, like, obviously, in the past year. Maturing and becoming a grown up and an adult, you obviously start to talk more about politics like that's just i mean we weren't when we were in our 20s in israel right out of college talking less about politics just like part of growing up but you've never been like on the I've other side aware. you've never like pretended always like you were on the other always. side I just i'd say i become more woke maybe uh after doing Frenemies, just because like I started interacting with a lot of people that were never in my audience. Mm -hmm. And I came, something that I'm very grateful to okay. for is that I think I matured a lot in terms of a lot of issues that I was blind to. Right. Like, I mean, just in general, I don't think I was like transphobic, but I, w but I became a lot more aware of the issues surrounding that about like, uh, you know, chauvinism, about mm -hmm. uh, homophobia, about, uh, or something else, but in general, just became a lot more, uh, I think, educated and sensitive to those issues, which is which I think is really important, and I'm very very happy with that development. But um, I've always been a lib, you know. I've said it a thousand times. I just, I always fucking dreamed of ridding all these Crowder fans that were watching me. I always hated these people. Who would spam on my Joey Salads videos? You know this one's true. <laughs> yeah. About like black people bidding up the Trump car. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So there it is. Uh, thank you for the gifted. Barely stable fan. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the gifted for my barely stable fan. Whoa. Fifty subs. Thank you. Thank you. The gifted. Saudi prince. Did 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 it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did. Ashley said haters will say Ethan is a snowflake and it's just him having empathy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. Um, so moving on, we've got more. Oh yeah, more Jordan Peterson shit, bro.
I love it. Well, he's a lot more. Jordan's like my fave. I don't know what's going on with him, but he started getting into political commentary. No. <laughs> like people are starting to ask him about like his opinion on global warming. And now here people are asking about his opinion on the roar in Ukraine. I'm like, motherfucker, why are you even talking about this? <laughs> Do they know that your brain is basically mush <laughs> from being pumped with like it's formaldehyde not. to cure your, <laughs> oh, your uh, benzo addiction? I don't know, whatever they pumped in your blood over there in Ukraine or in Russia. But listen to this take, man. It's so deep, so deep. Here we go everybody else than anyone thinks you know the notion that he's hitler or stalin that's just foolish i don't see any evidence for that at all i mean first of all hitler and stalin were very sorry i gotta pause he's talking <laughs> about putin he's saying putin is not hitler i remember a tweet you guys can pull up where he called david trudeau a nazi or a hitler <laughs> or a fascist. Yeah. so let's get this straight justin trudeau is hitler but but uh, yeah but putin is not hitler facts that's what's up, dude. Facts. Putin. Yeah, Justin Trudeau. Uh. Well, he's a lot more like everybody else than anyone thinks. You know, the notion well, that... Well, he's a human. Okay, sorry. He's Hitler or Stalin. That's just foolish. I don't see any evidence for that at all. I mean, first of all, Hitler and Stalin were very singular types. And there's a bit of Hitler and Stalin in everyone. So, you know, there's some truth in that. Maybe there's more in the typical Russian leader A bit of Hitler normal. in everyone? Really? There's more than a bit. <laughs> he gets so fucking serious. He's like, bitch, what did you just say to me? Did you just challenge me? I love that. I think, I think there's more than a bit in you, dude. <laughs> Shit. I could hear a pin and How he went from, like, smiling to, like... <laughs> because you know what's the problem with him? Any pushback he perceives as, like, an existential threat now. Like, he requires pure kiss assery at all times. <laughs> Otherwise, he shuts Typical down. Typical Russian A bit of Hitler normal. in everyone? Really? <laughs> there's more than a bit. <laughs> Really? There's more than a There's bit. There's more than a bit. Some say Hitler was reincarnated in my body. There's more than a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, too, that the person oh. giving the pushback is Pierce Morgan, who is a total fucking moron piece of shit as well. But <laughs> even for him, he's like, wait, what? Hey, yeah. he, he's got he's got cred. He, he hosted AGT, you know. He, oh, okay. he was well, a fair. judge on there. Oh, well, that's fair. I do that's love fair. that. He's he like, knows you, talent. Want, you, you really want to go on the record with that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a little Hitler in all of us, guys. Remember. What does that mean exactly? There's more than a bit. Like, like, okay. Let's There's more than a bit. Really? There's more than a bit. Really? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, why would have Nazism spread the way it did? You know, people think, well, that's all top down. It's not top down. There's there's a part of people that are all these people who informed on Kate Burble saying. Well, didn't Goebbels, didn't Goebbels say that the way to get vast numbers of people to go along with what you want to do is to terrify them? You, yeah, you, well, that you, you can you hold do that. A, a grip of terror over them. Oh yeah, but and in a way, that's what Putin's now doing with the Russian people, they, where he's he's going back now into a position of they're all trying to get us. They want to attack yeah, us. Yeah, they want yeah. to take us over. He's terrifying his people to rally support for what at the moment is a conflict he has started, which is not going the way he assumed. Well, the most well, up uh, yours. What you say the wisest commentators on totalitarian states, like like Solzhenitsyn. Exactly. And, and many psychological commentators. Jung was a good example of that. Oh, of course, Made it's Jung. Everything's about Jung. Yeah, but I love this title here. P Peterson, there's a bit of Hitler in all of us. <laughs> Wait, did they actually put that on the Chiron? It's right here. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. Putin that's issues the nuclear producer threat. in the back, like, instantly was like... <laughs> <laughs> there's a bit of Hitler in everyone. Right. Sure. There's more than a bit. I mean, what is that? What is he trying to say? He's trying to be so deep. He's just saying that, like, all humans have a capacity for evil. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. And that people, like, oh. yeah, in, in Germany, absolutely. lots of people fell in line. But um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Pierce Morgan had an excellent rebuttal to that, which is that lots of people went along with it because it was a, it was a regime that was enforced with terror, essentially. Mm -hmm. He just killed. They literally shot people in the street. Yeah. Right. And or, <laughs> Yeah, and... Ship people off, deported them to death camps. Like there, there are reasons that people, you know, went along with it that Absolutely. weren't just that they were all had a little Hitler in them, you know. Yeah, I hate that I have to give Pierce Morgan a W. But no, I, he's but, right, but man. He, he's, he, he had a he, good point there. Well, I even him, he's like, oh yes, yes, Hitler and all of us, yes, go on, doctor. L O L. Well, don't you hate Jews, Pete Morgan? <laughs> That's all I mean.
<laughs> Everybody hates Jews, at least a little bit. The Jews. And don't get me started on those gypsies. You can't trust them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Oh, uh, boy. There's a little Hitler in every single one of us. And even more specifically, the Jews. Oh, no. Boy, I could just spit on a Jew right now. <laughs> Not kill them. Been That's hit. too far. Just break their windows. They're in every, they're in every one. Shop, break their shop windows. Hitler, ne Hitler, ne Hitler, ne is there? Is this worth watching? Bloody support six minutes? for what at the moment uh, no, is a no, 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 no. It's definitely not. <laughs> why, why, why are we elevating this man? He's not smart. He and did, he has no qualifications. He didn't really come back with anything like Pierce Morgan, like you said, that kind of made a good point. And he's like, well, then, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here is actually, uh, he has a life-size cutout of Hitler. He keeps in his... No, it's just his little Hitler coming out. Oh, okay. Oh. okay, okay. I, was trying, I was trying to do interpret it as best I could. <laughs> is so, it like that scene in Spaceballs, you know, where he orders the soup and the thing comes out of him? You know, sure, a little alien? Sure. It's a little Hitler in all of us. There's more than a bit. Literally, I have a tiny Hitler living in my chest, chest cavity. Oh, man. I love it though. He's one of the most entertaining motherfuckers out mm -hmm. there. The Jews. <laughs> Can't wait for his stand-up Netflix special. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Froggy Peterson there, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, little Hitler and all of us. <laughs> yes, sir. That's his next children's book. <laughs> oh, I love that for a title. <laughs> Kids. Don't be afraid of the impulse to kill, mayhem, and destroy. <laughs> Those feelings are only natural. When you view another group of people as lesser, it's only natural to want to lock them up in a ghetto and systematically commit genocide on them. I'm not saying it's right, but it's normal to think about. I think about it all the time. With those damn liberals. Hitler. I wish we could put them all in a train and say bye bye. Hitler. I'd like to put Ethan Klein in an oven. Not because he's Jewish, but because he's awful. L O L. He took down my podcast episodes. Let's burn him! The mob. The mob. So don't be afraid, children. When you go to sleep at night and have dreams of bodies burning on fire, every night Think you again, dream sunshine. of thousands of corpses piled on top of one another, the ash of human bodies raining down on the snow-covered fields around you. Ian, are you cutting around all of us to show us disinterested in this? <laughs> he is, yeah. Don't worry, Dan. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. I can see. And as the children fall to the soot-covered <laughs> snow to do snow angels in the ash of desecrated human corpse, Ouchie. and you wake up with an erection, Ouchie. just know that's normal, because there's a little Hitler in all of us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, just, I will tell you guys, whenever I listen nope, to the nothing. show... <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I listen to the show and you start going on about Jordan Peterson, it's my favorite. My favorite. Okay. That's why I know and you I, said that. That's I why I'm going I can never in. get enough. All right. These guys are trying to get me off. Oh, she's the most important audience member. It's true. <laughs> cheap manipulation. <laughs> uh, thanks for your cheap manipulation. <laughs> Sometimes I dream of... <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Biscuit okay. suppers. Turning... We, we could move on. <laughs> Sometimes... Biscuit suppers. <laughs> At this bit suffers. No way. Sometimes I dream of turning on a lamp made of human flesh. It suffers. It casts a strange light that's beautiful and pain. odd. This bit suffers. And that's normal to want. Have you ever had a wallet made of human flesh? Ouchie. Human leather is a fantastic uh, object. It's durable. Can we get a dragon in the Flexible. Store? By clicking delete. Ch and it's normal to want that. Bella Simmons, thank you for the 50 gifted. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for the gifted. Yeah, how do, what were you asking for, Elo? A dragon and Pinocchio. Can we get some dragon optics here, please, and some Pinocchio? Or are you talking for me? I'm talking to oh. you. To and, then, and then when... <laughs> sometimes I dream of a dragon with a swastika. 
and I wonder, is it really that much different from when Mint Pocinocchio told Cassidy Geppetto, Pocinocchio I want to be a real boy? Into this great masterpiece. <laughs> I always think about that, and I wake up and say, it's normal to be to want to kill Jews. Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio. Thank you, uh, Anesthetic Haze, for correcting oh my, God. my pronunciation. Hello. <laughs> well, but they... Read the rest of the... <laughs> anesthetic haze, but I changed it to anesthetic shave, just because that made my life. Okay, there you go. Uh, so I was right. I preempted it. <laughs> Thank you, Godfather. Also, see you, Zach, at the Troubadour, January 13th. Let's go! <laughs> we be plugging. <laughs> I dream of a Pinocchio that's more representative of how we all feel inside. <laughs> Pinocchio, no! This is my... <laughs> This is my reimagination of Pinocchio. He's got a little Hitler in him, just like all of us. Oh. Uh, Did you know? Wait, no, I gotta interrupt you, because this is actually really important. I guess I didn't get a heads up. Hey, AB, put down the switch for a second. Oh, what's up? Did you send C-Man the Zoom link? I did. Okay, because he's in the lobby. Oh my oh. god, stop everything. Drop everything. C-Man is in the motherfucking lobby. This is Let's the go. most VIP guest. You cannot imagine of a harder. We have had top level celebrities. Mm -hmm. Nobody is harder to get than C-Man. <laughs> bring him on immediately while yeah. we've got him. Okay, mm -hmm. bring him in. Holy shit. This Stand is by. such a treasure. Such a such a treat. <laughs> wow. I just, I just happened to glance over and This saw. is exciting. C-Man, as you guys know, he is an enthusiast for male feet. Hey, man. And uh, we had a really great call with him in the past. He's, mm -hmm. he's just been a, a terrific character. We love him. He's an unabashed foot lover, and we, mm -hmm. we love that about him. It's yep. pretty good. You know what? I'm going to pee before this interview because oh I want to make sure. Also. Can we do it at the same I, time? I need to be comfortable for this. I need to be at the top of my game. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You guys got uh, this? C-Man, if you can hear me, just stand by for a minute. We're just uh, uh, taking a quick restroom break, and then we're going to get to you. That's okay. My God, I'm sorry. I took what happened last week, it was a mess. Oh, I heard that, yeah, the, the place you were at didn't have a uh, good I was internet. in a days in, in St. Petersburg, Florida, and apparently um, it was bad storms, and I got in 4 o'clock because mm -hmm. I had some actors who were for, we were doing our video shoot in, um, the next day for our wrestling right and apparently uh they were next hotel over and then i had to go said oh, excuse me but i have to leave for a half hour they go why i'm like because we're supposed to do auditions and mm. then the power went out oh so, lovely okay yeah ethan i think ethan wants to ask you about that yeah ethan's oh. gonna have a lot of questions about that so just uh, oh that's good no, so that's just good, hang tight for I, just a minute he just ran to the restroom so um, are we live now is yeah everybody we're live we are live oh, yes we're funny. live see man you ever play super smash brothers video game no i don't oh, okay no i don't i don't really play video games but i want to do a shout out to the state of pennsylvania i love pennsylvania hey everybody i also like arizona shout out pa maybe shout out oh, arizona PA. wait arizona you say oh interesting i like, I like I arizona, arizona too i'm trying to get to arizona one of these days it's just the timing i, I like uh, the warm weather and florida too so right. i love florida what are your That's thoughts nice. on, um, have you ever been to either of the Dakotas, like North or South Dakota? No, I'd like to go to South Dakota, yeah, but I can't stand freaking snow. I oh, can't stand cold. Oh, yeah. They got I'm a lot not cold there. Person. Yeah, up in the, up in the Midwest. Yeah. But, but I love scenery. I just love nature. And I just think it's amazing how beautiful South Dakota is. And people in New York are just so, like, they're like, they look at you like, why would you go to South Dakota? It's like, I tell people look at me like, I'm nuts. I'm like, why not? You know? Yeah. Why no. always go to Jersey? People in New York go to Jersey and Florida all the time. It's like, there's more to life than New Jersey. New Jersey, ew. I'm sorry, but ew. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey, ew! Come on, Jersey. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna offend a certain someone. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I like New Jersey. They're like our little brothers, you know. I mean, New Jersey's kind yeah. of cool and certain things, but you know, hey, why not? I'm a New Yorker. You can't help. Yeah. That. Everywhere I go, oh, everyone could. Here, hold on. Here, here's Ethan. He I'm just so got back. I'm glad here. to see you. It's been so long. Yes. And My God, you you aged a lot. I'm oh yeah, you. I'm sure. <laughs> wow, you look yeah, like you're about. I know. Hey, what are you about hitting seventy now? No I'm kidding. Um, he, he just, yeah, he it's, just it's, turned 40, it, Simo. It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a hard <laughs> year. It's been a hard year for me. It's been a hard Seema. year, too, for me as well. My yeah. God. Hmm. Um, well, listen, you're a hard man to get a hold of. Uh, <laughs> you were at 
last time or was it last week we were about to have you on yeah but you were attending a um foot worship event is that right <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, my foot worship wrestling that i was trying to get the videos for because i have a ring that i'm renting in st petersburg florida it's a smaller <laughs> warehouse so i got a bunch of people that would come down one actor bailed on me i mean he came down by plane to pick them up and then never showed up and he must have went wow. back to it Oh no! Yeah, what a what a, what a what a coward, you know? What a coward! Tell me, I love this stuff, and then you freaking <laughs> vanish. Like, what an Let idiot. me ask you this: Do you think he got cold feet? Not no pun intended. That's what I thought. I mean, you know, when you're 20 or 21, you know, you came my love feet a big foot fetish, and then then you want to act. He's like, well, it's good. It's wrestling. It's pretty hot. And then you know, you don't show up, and you're in the same hotel as me, like two doors down when I got to the huh. hotel rooms. And you don't even, and you just vanish when I went to Dunkin' Donuts next door to come back to get everybody coffee. And then look what happens, he's gone. Like, no one knew where mm. the hell he went. Mm. I'm like, what a coward. Was you he the star? Was, coward. Yeah, a coward because coward. he, a coward because he, he, he was a, afraid of participating in his, this deep desire yeah, of foot worship. This guy told me like, why every coward? time he's texting me, like, I'm going to be part of this, this is great. I really love feet. I want to get, oh, I said, okay. I'm a startup. Well, we'll get going, we'll, you know, get the business really big. You know, a lot of guys at the field, let's make this awesome. And it was great. And it was myself, this other guy I met from Long Island, New York, who I just started being friends the last three weeks. I, he actually wanted to come down and I made him worship my feet, which was good. I mean, oh, he worshiped you know, your feet. Yes. Okay, Long, Long okay. Island boys are strange. You got to understand. I'm a city boy, although Long Island's different, Nassau and Suffolk. I mean, it's like, you know, it's hard to say. All lame. New Can York's I ask lame. you, uh, I want to ask you, do you usually worship feet or are your feet usually I worshiped? do both. You do I both. like both. Yeah, yeah, I like both. both. A lot hey, of guys I... like both too, but in the wrestling matches, you kind of have to do both because the way I do it is you lose one, you win one because you don't want it to be when you're selling videos, the same person always right. losing. It doesn't look good. That's no when fun. you want to make these videos awesome and sell them, you know, you really want to make it like it can't be the same winner. I mean, it looks dumb. Mm -hmm. so, it is. Thing was, so we had the shoot on Saturday in the warehouse, and it was really hot. But I'm sorry I couldn't do it Friday because I had the actors there. But the, the freaking internet went out, and I went to the head desk. Oh yeah, was, that's fine. We we, we understand. Then, it's totally like, fine. Anything. Yeah. You know, it's sad. So what is foot wrestling? What does foot worship wrestling look like? What is a match? Of it's that? like a regular wrestling match. It's just yeah. that during the match, after every move, you know, you put the foot to the face or toe sucking to make it really hot. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. So if you're doing like, you know, it's only realistically 15 minute match. You do about eight or nine or eight or nine minutes just of wrestling. And then it's a hot central foot worship at the end for five minutes. So, mm. you know, if you're doing a headlock, throw the guy on the ground, you put the foot to the face, he sniffs him and sucks toes. Or if you do like, you know, the guy's kicking you, kick to the face or any move, then you put the foot to the face right after that. You know, it's this way here to make it really Wow, good. interesting. And, make it fun. Uh, uh, and I turn the guy upside down or hang up from the turnbuckle and I start oh. putting my feet on his face. That's how you weaken an opponent, like in wrestling. You know, wow. if you watch wrestling. You wow, wow, wrestling. wow. And what are you guys wearing when you wrestle? Are you wearing clothes? Well, yeah, we are. I yeah, mean, I had yeah. a hot, I had a hot like uh, G string kind of bikini kind oh, of thing. Oh, okay, but I oh. okay, okay. I have a teeny bit of Italian belly, but it's okay. It's cute. It's lovable, yeah. you know. So um, was most people and, wearing you, you, like. You could wear a singlet, you could wear shorts, wear anything you want. I mean, I have two guys that want to do it nude. I mean, I don't mind, but it's not, we're not telling guys you have to. The whole purpose is feet. I mean, yeah, you want to see other stuff as well. But, you know, we just don't want to always lose the focus. Because a lot of guys tell me, well, I love the feet, but I want to get even more dirtier. And I'm like, you can do it if you want to. But our business is mainly the feet, you know, mm -hmm. because we just don't want to lose focus. It's not a full-blown porn site, you know what I mean? Right. Keep it classy. Gotta well, stay on brand. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, I just think later on as we progress, we could do a lot more because I have a lot of guys telling me, gay and straight, that they want to do a lot more dirty stuff. And right. You're more than welcome to do it. If you want to start the script, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you, but there's guys that just only want to do the feet and I want to make them comfortable. You know, so that's the whole point behind that. But when this guy that ca cowered out on me, you know, I was like, because he had really great feet and said he wanted to do it. Mm. So I'll make you a star. So myself make and Derek, the guy from Texas, <laughs> pulled him. Myself and Derek were the ones, the main ones, and the other guy from New York. And we had some other guy we got, but Derek is from San Antonio, and he's really hot. He's Mexican and black. He's got hot feet. So okay, okay, so, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's nice of a mix. So it was really cool. So I this had guy, fun. this guy that blew you off, he had beautiful feet. You saw this. I mean, guy. they were nice feet. I can't say the beautiful, but they were nice feet. Well, you they said, were good, but see, man, you said you were going to make him a star. That seems like well, that well, seems I figured like good he was feet. young. And I think it'd be good to, you know, he was so passionate about this. Like on the phone with me, telling me he really wants to do this and be part of this. And then we actually met when he flew down. And I picked him up from the airport. And then I went to the hotel and then I went to go Dunkin' Donuts and I had to pick up another actor mm -hmm. coming in from a flight. 
the guy that was from New York is probably on my flight from New York from Kennedy, but his stupid Uber in Nassau County didn't make it and broke down. So I bitched him at six o'clock in the morning at JFK on JetBlue. I said, you live in freaking North Belmore, East Meadow, and you can't even get to freaking JFK airport. Really, bro? I live in Queens. I'm telling you. So he got on a later flight and I had to go back to Tampa to get him about, about five o'clock, six o'clock. Jeez, when he in Tampa. Man. It's like these guys yeah. don't respect what you're putting together. It wasn't his fault. Yeah. He just he lost he lost his driver's license and Uber outside or something. And I'm like, bro, I don't know how he got on the plane because New York is not easy to, to take off on from that. But I was just like, this sucks, you know. And at least he made it though. He made his promise. Like he told me, I I keep my promise. You know, so, I'm kind of uh, person. Paint, paint a picture for me inside. You have like an event hall uh, where you have the feet worship no, wrestling. A What's warehouse. the what, what, where are you're in a warehouse? It's a warehouse. How is I put an ad on Craigslist a couple of months back and I met this guy who owns a ring. He's also an actor and he also trains in wrestling. He's from Long Island, New York, too. He lives in Florida. He's a really nice guy who's willing to, to rent to me. He said, I told him I like my, my venue. So that's cool. As long as you don't damage my place, I don't care what you do inside, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. was good. It's a very small place, though. No air conditioning. It was so hot and sweaty. Uh, and it was <laughs> Is that good, the sweatiness or no? Well, at 95 degree Florida weather, not, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, not. Yeah. I, at a certain point, it turns from not hot to just hot. You know what I mean? From Well, I mean, yeah, it's really like in New York, it's only, what, 62 now? And everything, but, I mean, it's still hot inside. But okay, so, I think. So you guys are yeah, in this warehouse. So just tell me kind of what's the situation. You guys have a mat on the floor. You guys have a water cooler No, it's an actual wrestling side. ring. There's a wrestling ring oh, you and a bunch of chairs. Oh, okay, wow. So what we do with the audition is they'll sign a waiver. They're in you know, the wrestle and the boom. And then beforehand, we'll go over an audition to see what our roles are going to be. And they're going to act and what moves they want to do. Because a lot of them are not professional wrestlers. I don't expect to be professional wrestlers. The whole point of it is entertainment. It's fun. And as long as you like feet, that's good. So I explain to them, whatever move you choose, like my signature move is pinning with the toes in the mouth. Uh -huh. Like I'll jump off the ring and then, you know, then I, then I get the weak and I put my toe in the mouth and that's how I pin it. Or I'll turn them upside down on the turnbuckle and, you know, I pretend to do the jabs, you know, like this and that. And then mm -hmm. you put the foot on the face and you're, you know, standing on their feet, on their face when they're, when, when their legs are over the turnbuckle. Kind of that, that sounds a little dangerous. Does, an, does anyone ever get hurt? <laughs> No, no, it's for no. fun. I mean, you yeah, know what wrestling is. Everyone knows what wrestling yeah, is. I yeah. mean, I'm well, not it sounds like you're face stomping people, so I don't know. <laughs> That's good though. You know, it's yeah. good. You know, it's all about having fun. The whole thing's about having and, but, fun. But but mostly, know? so so what you're doing is you're filming this for you're selling my website, foot. and I'm yeah, selling I them on see, the website. I see. Yeah. So you guys, I gotta fix my website because apparently I didn't realize the back end with WordPress. WordPress has been really a mess. You know, these the developers oh. and that. So I've been trying to get the back end fixed on my own. I don't know too much about technology. So do you, is that how you make a living from that website, C Man? Not necessarily. No. Like I told you, I have another job. I have a job. I work yeah. out in Long Island. I put all my money from that job in, into, mm. this, into this passion. I just haven't really made too much because I've been trying to get these videos going. And every time I try mm. to do a shoot, either someone doesn't show up or I, mm. the location I can't rent on time or something because it's been a nightmare. It's in Florida. I'm in New York. So I like to eventually get my own office in Florida eventually. So I have a place people can go for auditions and see okay, we're here, because I don't want to think it's someone not legit because I didn't get the space and time and I organized an event and it turned out that, well, gee, I fly down there. I'm sorry, you didn't give me enough time. I rented to someone else. And I had that the first can, time I tried. Uh, can I ask you this? Uh, if you're trying to turn a business, why not just shoot it in New York? Why go all the way down to Florida? Right. Because in New York, it's been really hard. I've oh. been asking in New York, they're crazy because they want like the tons of money, all this insurance, and the people are just not nice here. They're just oh. the, uh, what about New, New Jersey? They don't give a shit about anything yeah, there. I don't know, maybe New Jersey, but I looked around and just to rent the ring somewhere. They want to know if you're established to this big, big school or you're this and this. They don't just rent rings and, people and, in general. And, 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 and do you try not to tell people what it's for if you can avoid it? Well, I try to not to because obviously yeah. it's not about anybody's business. I mean, we're doing wrestling shoots. I tell people it's a wrestling video and people understand that, you know, because people do come, Hollywood people do it as well. <laughs> I just try not to bring it up because you just can't tell if people are, are ignorant or narrow minded. You know, we don't need death threats or anybody attacking us. That's right. what, I did make a call one time to somebody in the Bronx couple this is about two years ago and the guy like literally gave me death threats. I'm like, bro, I, I don't know. I'm just asking the rent your oh ring. My God. I don't 
the guy was a nut. That's, job. A, like, that's well, scary. That's not. Yeah, it is scary to know that, and that's why you know, like I said, I'm a nice person. I know my city at the back of my hand, all five boroughs. But you know, it's risky. We need to go into the Bronx. He said it's a bit. He's got to bring somewhere a rent, and he's like, "What is it for?" I said, "For an alternative wrestling." I said, "We're doing videos." Oh, he goes like this, this, and this. And he was just very nasty. And then also next, another guy's texting me with death threats. I said, "Dude, I just want to rent your ring. I don't. You don't have to be involved. You don't have to be there. I just want to rent your freaking ring." You know what? Wow. We had an ex a very similar experience renting a ring. Were where... they homophobic? No, no, it wasn't about homophobia. But oh. then, remember, he got very upset with us when we rented mm. the Dude, ring. Dude, I don't it, know what's that... rough. There's people that rent rings are just fucking yeah lunatics man i don't know what it is and i told the guy in the bronx you know i'm like dude i'm just having fun i'm from new york he's like well i can't have people i don't know i said dude it's a video shoot i said first of all you don't know who i am i could be some high-end hollywood person and you're screwing me over dude yeah well, i just want to yeah, ring for the day I, and the guy was like an idiot and he starts threatening me i said keep the threat up i'm gonna i'm gonna call the police and then he stopped and eventually and i put an ad out in new york and kept going. people in new york are just very ignorant and, and narrow-minded people they're not, not accepting they, they, they don't not they, an open-minded city bro i'm yeah, born and raised yeah. i came back from australia and i'm like this is not the city i grew up in people here are just everything they're pressed about everything they're fucking sexually pressed about this it's a joke dude it's like no funny it's not fun no more new york is like huh. living in saudi arabia why don't you <laughs> and and florida is more open-minded well, I find Florida, it's ironic that Florida is a lot more open and understanding because mm. people, I guess, are from New York and all over the place. I think just the warm weather and people are just more chill down there on many things. And most people don't give a rat's ass about shit in Florida, what I found mm. out, which I like because people just not in people's business. But here it's just like you try to do something and they, they want to know everything what's going on. It's like, do you want to know my freaking, you know, what? What else do you want to know, you know? So that's why I did it in Florida. This guy was really cool. So I'm going to rent from him more often. Okay. So I told him. So that's why I was trying to plan these events every so often in Florida. That's why when I figured I was down there, I could have done a good video in, while in the hotel. But the hotel internet was so cheap. Days in, you know, you can't expect to be the best so, quality. Days in. So bring me back into the uh, the warehouse. So are, let me ask you this. Um, are, do men, are you guys finishing yourselves in there or is it just the feet? Like is there... Is there guy? Do you jerk off in there? Is there dicks and hands or no? No, it's just the wrestling. I mean, yeah. like I said, obviously your hard ons are pretty hard, and some guys right, play sure, with sure, 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 yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just it's logical. Sure, it's a sexual. Sure. Event. Oh, You're gonna get I have a on. question. Do you ever stomp on on their penises? I mean, some wrestlers do that. I, I've done it a few times. I prefer to stomp on, on their heads. I could. I've done it a few times. I okay. prefer to stomp on their heads. But I could tell they want me to stomp on their penises because they when they when they do the script, they're like, we got to kick here, kick there. Because I try to do the wrestling to be, you know, not to look so bad. I mean, I know some moves I look really bad in. I'm not a great wrestler myself. But when I jump off the ring, I looked like I fell. So I had to redo it again. <laughs> so it was pretty bad. I mean, because I'm not not used to jumping off high rings. You know, here I'm in my 40s. I'm not like I'm 20 where I'm, I'm so, my legs are so, you know, everything. I do the best I can. But, you know, when I when I do try to do the moves, I do some moves I like more than anything else. But we try to, we try to make it look good, to make it fun, not look so bad. Yeah, but so, the thing is... <laughs> so how many people were in the warehouse with you? It was four. It was just three four guys. Son. Okay. Yeah. And you guys were just having a good, do you guys ever do like a free for all situation? All four of you in the ring? Well, I was trying to do that. I, I, we did a tag team, which was great. And then we do like moment of wrestling in socks and rip the, they have to rip the socks up with the teeth, the slaves. So it's kind oh, of wow. cool. The next shoot, we're going to get shirts that say slaves and be a good slave. That'd be kind of cool. Cause we're going to do slave training next, which is really hot to spice it up. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> um, for most people, when they have a sexual encounter, They'll come to an orgasm, right? And then that that marks kind of the end of. of the... Stuff. Some people could keep orgasms that long. Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, I'm just, you can do more than one, but I'm just wondering during the foot Thanks. worshiping, is there orgasms happening? How ma is this a? You I know what I mean? Or is pants, it just foot stomping? I didn't, I didn't look in their pants when they were. You didn't look. You, you can tell their heart is a brick. <sighs> Their but heart is a brick. No squirt, no squirt stains. I don't. I haven't looked. You didn't look, see man. You didn't even take a peek. No, I'm getting my feet worshipped. I'm enjoying it. You're you don't even like, so so. The, <laughs> let me ask himself. Let me ask you this: Is the dick less appealing to you than the foot? I'm not saying that. It's just oh. that it's, just, it's not the not the right video for that. I mean, I could do mm. full blown porn if I wanted to, but I, I just do the feet. You know what I mean? Okay, interesting. I mean, I, I've done other stuff too, but again, no, I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand the. Uh, the culture, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to understand the culture. Well, the whole point is you, have, you love feet, you're turned on, so it doesn't yeah, matter your cops yeah, going to yeah. be sick no matter what. I and mean, can I ask you this? Too. Have you ever orgasmed from someone worshipping your feet when you didn't touch yourself? 
A few times I did. Wow. But usually I have to touch myself first. That's exciting. I, mean, a couple, ah. I remember it happened to me once. That's a long story because I this is a story I never talked about. I was in Vietnam on 2015 because I was living in Australia for seven years. So I was traveling to Vietnam and I went to this, you know, Vietnam's a very oppressed country, but I found this this mature place off the beaten path that had no name on it because they keep it hidden. And I went there and this guy was just magically sucking on my toes. And I just what? touching myself. <laughs> yeah. They're, like he was massaging me and I kept rubbing my feet and just got to my feet. Normally I have to push somebody to my feet. I mean, it's Vietnam. I mean, they're the masseuses and you go to these, these, these doors that are like these, these hidden buildings that are not known because obviously Vietnam's an oppressed country. Here I am, the crazy American, you know, going, just getting so all this sexual Okay, shit. hold on. I got to, I'm, <laughs> I'm captivated by this story. So you're in Vietnam. So how did you find this building? You're, I, I imagine well, you're like was, wandering through the jungle or some hostel. shit. But, I was walking around yeah. and I wanted to get a massage because people said massage are cheap in Vietnam. It's and like you're $10. not and, okay, and you're not mm. thinking about feet. You're just looking for a back massage. I just want a full body massage. Yeah, I figured they yeah, say yeah. great, it's cheap. So I did that. Okay. So I'm laying on this this floor and there's these three guys. And all of a sudden I'm laying there and I'm just got I'm getting rubbed and I'm sitting there going like this. And I'm like so high as a, a standing up and sitting there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Because my so rocked. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Hold on, hold on. So you're sitting there getting massaged by three guys. Three guys? Yeah, three guys. And you're fully erect at this time. I couldn't help, but it just yeah, felt yeah. good. And then all of a sudden I'm kicking because these I was the guys were like massaging me and all of a sudden my leg and the guy just jumps on my feet and licks them and, I'm, and I was really blown away and I actually blew a load without touching myself. Oh my over. god. <sighs> And Wait, I hold on. You're you're covering too much ground. I I need all the little details, to you, man. Well, <laughs> it was wild, like in the third. Okay, floor. so hold on, hold on. So, you, so you're sitting, you're laying on your back. These yes. three dudes are massaging you. You're fully well, torqued. Is, I don't think they expected. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you're fully torqued under the towel. I'm assuming you're there was naked. no towel, bro. There you are no butt towel? naked. <laughs> Wait, I you wait, real, hold on, hold on, see man, wait, 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 wait. I this shit fucking real, okay? See man, Understand hold the phone. <laughs> wait. You laid down and got a massage from three dudes without a towel. Without its butt on me okay. when he was he had a towel on me, but when, when I was laying on my stomach, when I turned over, I said screw the towel because it was a really warm <laughs> building and it was a bit steamy inside because next to it was a was a uh, a bath thing. So we were outside next to that. So the inside was really hot, so why wear a towel? So I'm laying on this little makeshift like what they call it, the little thing you lay on. And when they're massaging me, one's doing the legs, one's doing the shoulders, one's doing, you know, around the middle. And, I, and I'm so erect, but they don't touch it until later, right? This is the funny story. And I, I twitched funny. a bit because it got me tickled because he went between my legs. And I twi twitched my foot. <coughs> I was down there rubbing my foot. And he just puts his face and starts licking my toes. What? And I said, it's amazing. Who's I have to tell guys to lick my toes? He just went there on a whim. And I was like, he whoa. And all of a sudden, I blew a load, and it went a little bit. Then he starts jerking me, and the three guys oh start my, jerking. Oh my That's god, bro! Experience in my life. Here I am. So, third so wait, oh, all so, three. Dude, are you sure this wasn't like a gay masseuse place? Like a this was just. I don't a, know what it was. I can't read <laughs> Vietnamese. I'm an American guy just wandering around Vietnam by myself. People must have thought, "Who's this crazy white guy?" And I'm looking. It was like two o'clock in the this morning. This is incredible. I'm just so wait, wait, wait. So you're on your back. The dude touches your feet, or he he all of a sudden licks your feet, and then you blow your load. And then what yes, was the, what I was, was their reaction when you just all of a sudden like came? I don't know. I just kicked, and I said, "Gee, I'm so sorry." I don't think he understood. Okay, he you are apologetic. <laughs> I don't think he understood English. I said, I'm so sorry. He starts smiling. and goes, no, no, no problem. No. I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to blow it on you. I just, you know, I was gonna you say, blew it on him, <laughs> see, man? Sexual. Well, no, partly on him and partly oh on the wall. God. It was, there was really funny, you know? Did so, you, did you point it towards him, see, man? Or was it just what? Well, they were leaning over and the guy that was on my leg, I guess the back of his head was there and it went, it just went. <gasps> oh, over. on his head, <laughs> see, man? I don't know what happened. It was wild, but it was cool. It was fun. Yeah, you know, okay, wait, 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 hold on. I'm in a third world cool, country somewhere, I was going to get freaking killed, and I had so much fun, you know, it just was a hidden building, and then I had to get a taxi guy to take me back on a, on a motorcycle taxi, and he must have knew what was going on, because he was bringing all the Westerners there, so maybe they knew there was some secret thing, because he couldn't speak English, and I just said, massage, he goes, he points in that building, there's no sign of the building, Oh, nothing. shit, that's how you found it. Now, it's just a building that's just no name with a light on it. And he goes, he goes, and I woke Whoa. up. Weird. It so, has a thing. You sign a book and then you have 
you have to ring a door, ring a bell, and someone comes down the tower to get you, and then you just lay down and get a massage. You know what's it, you know what's interesting, C man? A lot of people have Vietnam flashbacks, but not quite <laughs> like this. Well, you know, it's quite wild. I mean, you know, being in a third world country, I don't think people were not even oppressed at all. I mean, it, they were just having fun. People seem to be wild and crazy. They don't give a shit about stuff in Vietnam. Yeah, so you went over I, there. Saigon, oh, okay. after that, I flew down from north. This was North Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Saigon was a bigger city. more. Money. I went to another masseuse place there, but they spoke more English. And the guy asked me, do you want to play with your, you know, part? I says, well, if you want to, I'm not going to make you. But that time, I was just a regular massage. But I think it's an extra charge, you know, for... For the well, they try to pull that. I'm like, well, don't pull a massage and massage. You I'm didn't care. Paying. You're like, yo, I'm not paying for a tug. Did I'm you... not paying for it. No, okay, I'm not. Good, so good. Saigon was more greedy than Northern because Saigon was more Western. So they want to get more money out of you than Northern Vietnam. They were more happy. To I mean, they're just them. they're just offering you an extra service, though. That that, that seems fine, right? No, I didn't mind. No, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind. mind. I mean, it, was just, it was interesting, though. But that was like one of my. Well, hold on. My Let things. me go back to the shack. <laughs> so you come on this guy. And then he, they immediately go down to the feet and the dick. Is that what's happening? Well, the, all what three happened of them was, are working no, the shaft. I came, no, I came when he touched my feet, and I and I, I kind of twitched a bit. And then afterwards, so it was a bit awkward. They stopped, and then he was doing more of the body. He went closer to my. I think he wanted to touch my penis, but was afraid to. And then he starts grabbing it, and it still had cum on. I thought the cum had been dried up. I had no towel to dry oh, it off. And he's playing with it, and he's trying to jerk me. Yeah. I'm like, no, don't jerk me. Where he came? Because after it's I sensitive. come sometimes. It gets ticklish when you start jerking yeah, me because yeah, yeah, I already came. Yeah. He was, he, he don't was, me to be jerked off no more because I already too came. eager. You know, the point, the point is, Holy the point shit. to jerk me off is so I can come, not to jerk me off after I came. Yeah, you know I mean? he's, so, he's too late. Yeah, I was all right, though. I mean, and it, then was, so, it was so, so ultimately, um, how much did you end up paying them? Come Do you remember? And it was 10 US dollars in total. 10 bucks? Yes. Damn, for all that? Yes. Dude, in Vietnam, Could $2 you know, is like a lot of oh money God. for them. They make $2 in Vietnam. That's like a salary for them. Like, you know, any American would be filthy rich there. I mean, God, it's like Can a Can I ask you a question, though? Do you think they're yeah. like sex trafficked or they, these were willing uh, participants? I think they were willing people. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I they, they you said there was dollars and the hotels tell people to go to masseuse places and we're just tourists what the fuck do we know you know here i don't speak english i'm just going to vietnam for vacation and literally you know they just like the, the americans and the westerners they like the australians and new zealanders canadians and they see the white person oh boy maybe we can so you, you know, get money you, out. You, you think they were their gay men who enjoyed it or maybe they'll just service anyone who's there for the for the 10 bucks i, I don't know i yeah. could i didn't ask them didn't speak yeah, english yeah, they yeah, just yeah. kept smiling at me and i'm just smiling i imagine they liked <laughs> it if you didn't like it you wouldn't be smiling i mean really you know but it was some wild stuff and i really had a good time it's like wow wow have i you, try to have fun everywhere i go have you, know, you I gone back I, I haven't gone back since no no i haven't but i go back to australia i might i'm gonna go back to australia wow sometime. that's a hell of a story there buddy you just came on yeah. a masseuse man. i had fun too in fiji my life after vietnam oh, went to fiji come. after that and i had fun with, with having you know you got... same thing happened in the guy's truck in fiji outside the beach wait wait there. okay so the same thing happened it's making me in fiji okay the same thing happened what do you mean South by that Pacific. the feet find him. well i was in the south pacific i want i love to travel travel is fun yeah. so i flew into fiji, well when everyone's which... rubbing your feet down of course you know <laughs> no i was in this hotel you know it was a hostel we had a good time uh, hey just, have you seen uh hey see man have you seen full metal Jacket. Yes, I saw that long time. Yeah, ago. yeah oh, that's yeah. an old movie. jacket. Full metal yeah. jacket. <laughs> yes, ah, oh, you're funny. Thank you. Thanks, I get the thank joke. You, thank you. That's from chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So everywhere you go, people are just trying to grab, kiss your feet, and grab your dick. No, I don't think it was that. I just think it was just a moment, probably. You know, yeah, just, just a whatever. moment. Okay, just great. Just um, joking, you know. Just, all right. You fantastic. Know wow. Incredible. <laughs> so let me ask you. Um. So we we prepared some content for you that we want you to uh, rate for us, okay? Now I we know you're a fan of feet, and I know you have a specific type of photo you like. Generally, you like the feet on the pedals of the car. Oh oh oh! Something came up. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. one second. This is the guy from Long Island that I went to. Oh yeah, can we? Yeah, just you can answer. Just let us hear. <laughs> Masseuse from like, Nam. Hey, what's up? Yeah, this Where is good. Doing? This is good. <laughs> You're home, okay. It went well. It went pretty good. No, I just had um, I just had like iced tea this is for lunch. That was about it. I feel like drinking iced tea. That's about it. Not much. But okay. How are things with you in Long Island? Okay. 
How is this real? What? <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What's going on? What's happening? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll wait here as long as I need tonight, Well, tonight we can meet, but you want tomorrow night you want to go, okay? Well, can you give me, can I call you back in 20 minutes or half an hour? Is that okay? All right, cool. I'll do that. All the best. Take it easy. Cheers. Sorry to, uh, sorry to interrupt no, your sorry. call like that. I don't normally get a phone call in the middle. That was my yeah, friend. Yeah, I'm sorry. From, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to cut that off for us. No, he wants to hang yeah. out. We're going to go to, to Farmingdale. There's a spot we hang out and chill in Farmingdale off the I-95, I which is the LIE near exit 49. Are you trying to get um, people to meet you there? <laughs> no, very but we specific hang out. A, look, we just hang out. You know, Long Can Island people really find you there at what anybody? time? I don't know. Long Island just really sucks, but you know, I just cool to hang out with someone from Long. Anyway. All right. So, so, so. Anyway, I was saying you have a specific taste. You like the feet on the pedals, nude, right? A little tan, if I, if I recall. You know, I like feet pretty much anywhere. Like I said, for, you know, I foot fetish, I like feet anywhere. I just, okay, you know, well, my my business is just the driving and the wrestling, but you know, feet isn't you know, anywhere. So no we're tr we try to use technology to to uh, get something that you're interested in. We asked um, Dolly2, which is a, an advanced AI that creates photos based on written prompts. So tell me how did it, uh, Dolly2 do in uh, representing mm -hmm. nice feet for you? Here is, uh, what do you think about this one? This is kind of a sandy foot on what looks like a gym mat. Can you see that, C-Man? Hold on, let me just try to see that. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I don't know my my thing. Where 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 is it? Oh, it's weird. Okay. Can you see it? Dan? Uh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It could be cool. That could be pretty nice. I mean, it's 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 it doesn't. It looks like it's just a computer image. It's not like it's a live person. So I it guess it's different right. for you. So I guess it you still does still looks good though. It yeah, just looks yeah. good. Like, you know. So you're not a fan <laughs> of hentai, I'm assuming. Well, I mean, I just I guess I like real. Wow! Look cool. at this yeah. one. That looks cool. Getting that looks cool. Yeah, that's fun. Pretty I mean, both of them are good. Pretty impressive, right? A freaking computer made this. These are. Oh, now look at this that's one. Pretty cool. That's one? pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. That's a good one, right? <laughs> yes, it's pretty impressive. That's good. Yes, it's really good. What yeah. do you rate like that? Oh, no. What do you oh. rate that one? Um, I would say that's a pretty good. Um. I think that's a pretty good one. I would say maybe a, a seven, eight on that one. That's good. Wow. That's really good. Because that's... me, is, what I look at it is, I prefer a human to produce stuff. I mean, AI is just like a robot producing stuff. I'm the kind of person yeah. it's great to produce ah. videos, but I like more of when a human could produce because it's more natural and real. Of so, course, still, we're just we're just we're great. just we're testing the limits of technology. But seven or eight. Here's another one. Wow. What do you think about this one? That, that looks good, actually. That looks really good. Huh. Wow, yeah. Take a look. Feast your eyes. What do you rate this one? Those ones look real, huh, C-Man? They look kind of real, but I mean, again, since I knew that it was an AI doing it, if you had told me that it was just a person doing hey, it... Hey, you're I guess not touching cool. yourself, are you, C-Man? No, I'm not touching myself. Let me see your hands. All right. <laughs> just checking it. I'm just holding the laptop. That's okay, all right. Right, right, right. Holding okay, something cool. in his lap. Um... <laughs> Uh, okay, wow, look at this. That's a real, that, that, that's incredible, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, sure. four toes. Well, you're very, you got very quiet. What happened? Oh, yeah, there's four toes. Right, it's missing a toe. Is oh, that a problem? Oh, I didn't even catch that. Seaman got really quiet, dude. <laughs> No, I'm, 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 it's pretty good. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty good. That looks, that looks really good. Yo, look at these ones, C-Man. That's cool. Now, imagine trying to drive with your feet. You know, the funny thing is I did see a video year, years back. Guy had no arms, and it's kind of cool, but he was driving with his feet. And I actually sent the message to him. I said, it's a great idea. I mean, you know, when he has to drive. I mean, it was kind of cruel because the guy was like, you know, he had no light, no arms, he's driving a car, so it's like, how do so, you even drive a car? So did you make contact with this guy with no arms? No, I saw the no. video. It was like a disabled video. Somebody did. I said, well, I said, told him, I said, positive. That's a great, that's a great thing. I said, keep up the good work. I mean, you have to. You yeah, know, you it's impressive. Be, if you're doesn't mean your life is over. You know? Sure, that's, yeah, right. of course, especially if you're using your feet more. I mean, that's, a, that's just a plus. <laughs> So I'm assuming if you were to meet a guy with no arms, that obviously wouldn't uh, 
wouldn't be a problem. As if his name, yeah. if his name is Matt, you never know. His name could be Matt. You never know. Um, oh, making a little joke about the uh, no arms, no legs. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, oh my God, you're gonna love these ones. These are all AI generated. See, man, what did oh, you wow, type to get that? these, you guys? I didn't, yeah. What did you type? Yeah. What, <laughs> what, 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 what was it, Ian? Ian, you uh, created these, did you not, or was it Cam? Uh, yeah, I think it was like 4K realistic photo of man's foot pushing the pedal on a car. Oh, wow. You gotta be Write real. That down. Like the more specific you are, the the more accurate. And, and is this one pretty good for you, see, man? You're getting really quiet. You're not. <laughs> no, you're I'm not just, jerking I'm just, off, right? No, I'm, no, I'm looking okay. at the, the yeah. chat box. Yeah, right? he's analyzing. He's analyzing. Yeah. So how do you rate this one? I never seen you look no, so. I've good. never I, seen I think, you I be think, so quiet, see, man. You're usually no, I'm very talkative. At the chat. Okay. I'm looking right. at the chat. Um, okay. that looks pretty good. I like the size of those feet. I like the, the toes. I like the bones. So yeah, it's a nice structure. It's really okay, nice feet. All right. There's more. This one's pretty yeah. wild. What do you think of this one? Let's see. Let's go ahead and see. It's a very interesting yeah. shaped foot there. Long. Yeah, that that's pretty good. That's interesting that's long, deal. That's pretty long. Yeah, it's really long foot. Wow, long toes. You man. like those long toes, right? Huh. I I've never seen feet like that. I've had before, but they must be nice to play with. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and okay, interesting. So this the okay now this one's pretty wild. What the fuck is this? <laughs> He's got a wide foot. It's Wait, okay. how did you how did you get this one? That Wait, guy's got a wide foot. Do you like hey, that? Why, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I've never really had many wide feet like that. I mean, some people do like it, some don't. I mean, there's different likes in the foot community, so you different. really can't say. I mean, some people like right. wide feet, some and don't. What, what like about skinny. that amount of hair? Is that something you like or dislike? I don't know, because I never really questioned it. I looked mm. at the feet. I mean, I've never really made a big... This person called me back today. No, you can <laughs> answer it. Go ahead. It's okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll wait, C-Man. Hello? It's fine. No, it must be one of those dead... Um, I don't know. I don't Telemarker. even know what Oh. Somebody from Missouri called me. I don't know anybody in Missouri. Hmm. Yeah, it's oh. probably a telemarketer. Yeah. yeah so, um, so here, okay, so, so that was interesting. Actually, the 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 computer did a really good job. It yeah, sounds pretty like. Decent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, I made a special thing for you, uh, C man. I made a video for you because I know. Last time you hated my feet. Let's just not mince words. You gave me like a three out of well, ten. And it's okay. I'm not offended. Yeah, just <laughs> Listen, I'm not offended. It's okay. Okay. But I've made you a special video that's like your exact right. likes, and I want to get your take on this. I filmed this in my car. Okay. And I just want to get uh, your take if I did this good or not. All right. Here, All right, I'm going to play it for you. All right. Those are your feet? Okay. Yeah, those are my yeah, feet. Okay. That's nice. That's pretty hot. Go ahead. Pretty good. Go ahead. Pushing the pedals really hard. Yeah. Go ahead. No, it's good. That, that's, that's a good, good right? That's good. That's good content. Okay. It's a lot better. It looks nice. The sun on it. Maybe you got sun. <laughs> you like the artistic. But it's nice. You probably got sun. You know, California's sun everywhere. Why not? Yeah. Some people are white as a ghost. Some people the yeah. white that Elmer's glue looks worse than you. Mm -hmm. yeah, so could you rate this on 10? Because last one was a 3, which is fine. And and be honest with me. I would me. give that a 6 now. You worked wow. hard. Wow. You doubled your score. You doubled your score. I nice. doubled my yeah. score. Wow. But no one, but nobody's really got really hot feet like me. Like, I have the hottest feet. Can you put your feet on Whoa, screen? That's Can a we lot see? of confidence. Well, I've always do. I Can mean, we see the uh, money makers there, uh, uh, C-Man? Well, I got to take my socks off. It's a bit okay, cold. sure. Yeah, give us a free show. A little tease. <laughs> Let's see what a ten. Let's see what so you so like. you think your feet are a ten, C man, right? Well, nine or ten. Maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! It's, it's a good. It's a good. It's play. pretty good. It's yeah, pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. hot. It's all right. It's all right. I guess. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, right. I guess. It's fine. It's fine. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. Pushing the pedal is pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, they're hot. You know, I mean, I've seen some. You know, they're pretty hot in New York. Yes. So you would you give your feet a ten? I would say probably a nine. A I mean, nine, it's hot. A nine. I mean, mm. it's really hard to say a perfect feet because no one's going to have really perfect anything out yeah. there. You know, mm. that's the whole thing. Right. Right. Well, have you but ever seen a 10? I don't know. I mean, you nah, know, yeah. maybe someone got hot feet, you turned on, and you want the moment's right. But I mean, everyone's got a different take of what's hot and what's not. You know well, what I mean? To your There's some people that you know. might like short, stubby feet. And, you know, some people may not. So, I mean, you're turned on by Fina when you see from a video, but sometimes you go close up and say, well, I'm turned on, but then you see, I don't know. But, you know, my my thing is I think my feet about it. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's a good to believe in yourself. That's important. Right. You do. The but chat I mean, is I mean, saying I mean, they're 10 out of 10, so. 
Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. No, they're they're into it. Of course, I. Well, so so this is exciting. So, do you want to tell people again? You're going to be on the turnpike at the truck stop on uh, West and Thirty Third. I'm just, just, I'm just kidding. No, Stop. Don't tell your address. Yeah, I, I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying there's a parking lot off the L I E. That sounds really And you know, you go there, hang out, and just people. Just oh, it's, just, really it's just a place you know, where a guy, it's a place where guys go to meet other guys, kind of situation. Well, I don't. No, it's normally a stop for like buses and stuff. There's across from a big company building in Farmingdale. But I like going by watching the planes. I like planes and planes uh, land Republic Airport oh, okay, on Route little. 110 right. near Amityville, which is nice. So I like that. Oh, um, yeah. are, are you a pilot, Seaman? Did we well, learn I that was at some point? Flying lessons because 20 something years ago, I wanted to be a commercial pilot 30 years ago, I 25 see. years ago. Ah. So I've taken lessons, but you know, I really couldn't afford it. You know, I'm not rich. So growing yeah, up, my expensive. parents. Flight school. I took lessons two or three times a week at Republic Airport, and also in Florida. And flying a plane is so free. It's so rush. It's amazing rush. Just getting up there in a two seater Cessna. It's awesome, you know. Um, so I like watching planes. I like being in the cockpit. You know, the cockpit. Do you amazing. fly uh, shoeless, or are you barefoot? Well, fly, usually or? they want you to fly. But I wear flip flops because it's hot. But normally, when winter, I wear shoes. They tell you it's a big deal, but because you know, in the plane. But I had no problem because you know, hitting the rudder pedals enough. See, man, what do you think but, of this? I'm just curious. Uh, is this something that you uh -huh. get down with or no? That would be wild. But how does that happen? Like, this has got, like, I made that one. That was on a robot. That could be tons of, you know, that would be you weird. You could be like, into that. Phone. You could be into that. A lot of toes. That's a lot of toes. That's in a lot of, toes. A lot of yeah. room on Just there. Just imagine yeah. that on your face, see, man, with all the toes wiggling around. There's that uh, silence that again. Be... <laughs> no, because I'm reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. Oh, okay. You know? like, reading the chat. Uh, um, but anyway, like I said, it was pretty cool. That's cool. So, I, like I said, I do like to watch planes land. It's really fun to watch different planes at night. Do not come. Kind of cool stuff. All know? right. So, so, so there's see. one more thing. Uh, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you, and then we'll say goodbye. I know you're a busy man. I'm not uh, that busy. I'm off today, so I have plenty of time. I know the okay. fans love me out there. Oh. I would be a great asset for your shows. Maybe well, you already are. Right. You are. This has been I a great, be a this has been a great discussion. Show. What do you think about this? Wow. Let me see. Hold on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty uh -huh. cool. Yeah, that's wild shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find the rudder. Now I don't want to. Now, see, man, hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to break it to you, but this is a woman. Oh no no. Yeah, but it's. I know it doesn't matter. It's just really cool to just fly barefoot. It's really okay, relaxing. Cause I, okay, because I thought you were. I mean, just really cool to. Like I said, it's really cool to be in a, in a plane or a helicopter. You know. So, all right, C man, listen, uh, what a treat. Well, I was gonna say is that yeah. if anybody wants to wrestle me, any guy, any guys out there want to wrestle me and, and Derek and some of us in our next wrestling shoot, we'd love to have that. You know, I'd like to see if anybody out there would be man enough to wrestle us and man worship enough. There it lose is. Worship <laughs> winners feet. Lose a worship winners feet would be kind of cool, be awesome, you know. There um, it is. it'd be nice, it'd be nice to have that for my, my next shoot, you know. There um, it is, more people. And great, uh, there's know? probably an age, a specific age you want people to be at least. Yes, right? 21 to 55. No, no, okay. I told you, no, no one under 21. You don't like old I know people? I there's 15 year olds that are real, but <laughs> unless you're really not going to play games and say you're going to come, someone's more mature, they're going you know, to really want something. I appreciate so. that it's 21 plus, but what's wrong with like, you don't like old people feet? <laughs> I don't mind, but how many six year olds are going to arrest you in the thing? I mean, sure. some of them could be in good shape. I mean, I don't mind. I've seen some older people that want to wrestle. I don't, I'm open to it, but you know, you don't get many 65 year old people telling me I want to wrestle. And then you know, <laughs> it's nice if they do. I'm not against it. I mean, it's fun. Enjoy what you love. But I'm just thinking, you know, why not? You know? So, um, but I'll say, if anybody wants to wrestle me, uh, I'm going to plan a shoot in a couple of months back in St. Petersburg, Florida, the Tampa Bay area. Um, I'd like to have a nice spread of at least seven or eight guys. You can have really fun with this. There it is. And make it amazing. And I'm also planning another uh, foot fetish video uh, shoot either in New York or Florida, but I'm just trying to plan something there. It's going to be really erotic, too. Be good. We already showed um, Ninja's feet, yeah. Mm. I'm kind of cool. <laughs> there so it I'm is. Uh, there. C Man, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. The world is your oyster. There's so much to look forward to. So much hey, look, I'd love, to, I'd love to be on your show. I'd love to come out one day and be on your show. Oh, like, you be, really... like you are on the show now. I but meant you, like live in, in the person. studio. Okay. Okay. If in you're person. in L.A., let in us LA, know. Yeah. We can figure out some fun segment. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'd like to be oh. on your show more often, oh. too. You know, we're having, you want to <clears throat> pitch that? I mean, we're yeah. having a live show. Maybe we could have some kind of segment with you there during the live show. It could be interesting. Mm -hmm. 
But the, what do you mean? Live? Isn't this live now? No, this in live person, person. But like, we'll a, like a live audience. Yeah, like a yeah. venue. Like 750 people live. Oh, that could be cool. <laughs> yeah. But let's, could let's be fine. But I'll tell you one thing. I would love to. I would love to could worship Leonardo DiCaprio's feet. I really would, and I'd love to worship Sean Mendes. You know, he's a pretty much. Oh yeah, okay, he was number sir. one on yes. uh, Wiki Feet yes. Men. Right. Yeah. All right. I would love to worship Leonardo DiCaprio's feet. Oh okay, my God, so I'll work on that for you. I'll, try <laughs> yeah, to I'll get out. in touch. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. reach out to them. Sean, I actually know Sean Mendez. I think that's, there's a chance to make that happen. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I just, one of these videos, I remember him, like, it's, I just, I don't know what it was. It was pretty cool. I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of other yeah. Hollywood people have really good feet out there, too. So I wonder how Hollywood people actually watch this show. Do a lot of them actually do or no? Hollywood. Can Hollywood people. Oh, oh yeah. Some. No, I'm in. I'm in tight with a lot of. Uh, yeah, we got. We're, we got I'm, some connections. Yeah, I don't want to oversell I'll, it. I'll, I'll leverage my no, people. I know. I know. Le- I know Leonardo DiCaprio. I'll try to meet you. I'll see if we can get him to lend you his feet for. Uh, how long do you need? <laughs> no. Well, how long would you need with him? Just so I know what to pitch I, I them. I don't know. It's how long he wants to feel good. Oh, well, shit. I well, I, I want to ask his agent. Like, yo, we need him for like ten minutes. So, like, the less the better. So, what do you need? really to get satisfied well i mean i guess it depends on the moment um i guess mm. i could say probably an hour and a half two hours you know? what? That's, a huge, oh. that's a long session <laughs> that's okay. expensive you're not getting leonardo good, though, for you know? two you hours yeah. feel good what about sense? young gravy young gravy okay, i can hour. make that happen chad, chad proposed that <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to get you leo for two hours i can get you for 30 okay, minutes maybe an- 30. 30 minutes is fine. A quickie. Okay, that's Okay, fine. so so I'm going to leverage. Uh, Bobby are Lee. you interested in Brad Pitt? I have a connection there, too. I don't know. I mean, he's not too bad, I guess. I don't know what his feet okay. look like. I know I, I've seen <laughs> Linda Carter feet. I also saw Sean yeah, Mendes. Maybe not. Maybe Brad Pitt, his feet. Okay, know. I'm going to work on that, okay? And we'll see. Let's see what you can. Maybe what I can I mean. set up for you, because I know they're only going to give us a 30-minute slot. Maybe I can that's get, like 30 maybe I can get him enough. one after the other, so we can start with Leo. <laughs> And then when he's got to go, eventually after thirty minutes, we can. Sean Mendez will be waiting and ready for you after. So it'll be like an hour long session, back to back. Does that sound okay? We 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 can do like twenty four hours with Oliver Tree if he wants Oliver Tree. We can do that for like twenty four hours. I got. I have to. I don't know what is. What does his feet look like, Oliver Tree? Oliver Tree? Yeah, they're disgusting. Um, They're pretty hot. They might be pretty hot. I think a lot of guys have. I'm sure it's like a one star. It's disgusting. They're small. And his toes. Well, it could be good. Hey, sometimes you can fit the whole foot in your mouth if that's small. Oh, good point. Hey, can I ask you a question since you mentioned that? Yes. Um, Without making any assumptions, so forgive me, I'm just only asking because I've been always fascinated with this thing called Fist Fest. Have you heard of that? No, I never heard of that. I don't know mm. So there's a community of men, and like you are into foot stuff, they're into a thing called fisting, which is. Oh, yeah. yes, I see what that is. Yeah, I'm not into that. No. Yeah, so I was wondering if. I'm they're... not having anybody stick something up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was wondering, C Man, is if there's a Venn diagram of the fisting people fisting. and the feet people, if, it, if we're ever going to be able to get a whole foot in someone's ass. Uh-huh. Well, someone tried that once at one of the foot parties a long time ago. Um, not mine, but one of my friends. And mm-hmm. he almost went up there, but he said it was painful. But I don't think it uh-huh. could because if you look at the size of a foot, it's not like it's very hard to get into a hole like that. That's what I'm thinking. Right. I mean, yeah. I don't, so was it painful? I don't know. Well, but I'm the kind of person, I don't want anything really in my butt. Yeah, so, you're not into the, um, you're mm. not on the fisting side. You're on the... I mean, I had somebody who wanted to put fruit between my toes. But like I said, the last show, I'm not into the fruit between the toes. I'm not into fruit. I don't know what it is. Just odd that, fruit, yeah. you know, I yeah. mean, I don't mind if they want to do it between my toes, but I will never suck fruit of someone's toes. I just think it's just not natural. It's just odd. It's like I'm so, tasting strup. So, I want so to take- who did it hurt for, the butthole guy or the foot guy? I don't know. I never. I never oh, you said it hurt. You said your friend said it hurt. Did, My friend told me it hurt, but he he told him to stop it because he no, said but, it was but, just but, painful. But, what, what, was he was, receiving the foot? Was he receiving the foot, or, was, the he, foot or yeah. was he putting the foot in? He did both, but he oh, received okay. the foot oh, first. Okay. It hurt. He said, he, said putting it wasn't as, he said putting it in wasn't as bad, but this was like years ago, and they told me that was difficult because mm-hmm. it's hard to maneuver. And it was like when you're when you're turned on for the moment, you don't have time to waste. You just give up because if someone wants to feel good, you're not going to wait 40 minutes to put something into somebody. And they're like, yeah. okay, I'm done, leaving, goodbye kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. That's why there you have is. to have uh, my friend explained to me fisting. I'm not into fisting. I'll never be into fisting. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's explained and to I, me that it's an art and yeah. you really have to be careful. And I don't want I, I just want to clarify. I'm not saying that like 
all gay men are a monolith who are into no, either I one. That. I just I saying there's that. different communities, and I was just oh, wondering I know if there's that. a crossover. Absolutely, again. there's different fetishes out yeah, there. Yeah. Absolutely, but you know, not every fetish is the same. No, and, and of course not. one is different. But the thing is, you know, a lot of people always ask me like the same thing with to put a foot in, the, in, in something they ask. I mean, I would do to something. I just don't think it would feel right, and I don't think I would. I could even do it. You know, let me ask I you this. So just, one last question, see, man. I'm just curious. Do you would you engage in regular kind of traditional sex acts, or does it have to be involve feet to get you excited? Well, I think like me, like every other foot guy too. Of course, you want foot included in every sex act because I know no foot guy I know on a planet ever goes without doing because the, the vanilla feet. sex doesn't excite you. You need more. Well, it does, but like a lot of foot guys will say the same thing. You want to you want to go to the feet because if you like feet, that's the first thing you're gonna go to, and that's Got common it. sense. Right. I mean, yeah, if you're yeah. having sex with someone, you're looking at his feet. You're so turned on, you're gonna go further. <sighs> I mean, I've never heard of foot guys never touching the feet yet. I mean, if they're cowards afraid to touch the feet, that's a cowards. Yeah, cowards. I, I find it interesting you. Call them cowards. Why? Why? Well, are... because if people don't go for what they want, and they're like, "Well, I should have done the feet, done the sex thing. What's your fault? You're done with the sex. See you later." Kind of thing. I had friends like that with me. Like they wanted to play with my feet, but they were afraid to. And I said, "What were you waiting for? Like you just ruined the moment. You know what I mean? Like if you like this stuff, don't go for other things first. Go for that. That's what I'm expecting." You know, foot guys want that. All foot guys well, know this. Well, there it is. Seaman has said it all. You know, he's it's done just, it all. <laughs> But it's true, though. And, there, I mean, and there's so but, much but, left to see and do. Uh, just, just so excited for you. Uh, by the it's way, it's true because again, yeah. if you like feet, you're gonna go for it first, and then yeah. you're gonna play this stuff. Yeah, and it's thank you, simple. EM, for the gifted. And so, C man, well, I'm gonna wish you to have a fantastic weekend of getting all kinds of interesting and strange, fun feet action. And uh, I, I will. And I look cars. forward to speaking to you again. And if you're in LA, let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. I definitely will. All the best and stay well. Hopefully, I can actually meet Leonardo DiCaprio or Sean Mendes. No, I'm going to be working on that. I'll let you know. No promise. I'm going to no talk promises. to the agents. We don't want to overpromise. And do you want to no, And do you, want, do you want to film this or can it just be like a private thing? I don't mind. I want a private. I just really want to see. Yeah, because I don't think Leo's going to want to be on your website. I'm just. <laughs> no, I won't be, he won't be on my website. Yeah. I, will, I don't mind doing it private. I don't care. I could be the dirtiest slave too. I like that. You like, you'll be the dirtiest slave to Leo. <laughs> yes, and also to Sean. Right? right. Okay. 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 Great. I'm gonna work on that, hey. and we'll let you know. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Cheers. Would you be willing to pay? I know he 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 usually asks for compensation for his time, like thirty minutes. Yeah, I'm not a fucking prostitute. <laughs> No, you, you know? pay. Oh, no, you pay. Hell, Ethan. No, you pay him. Donation to his charity. Well, for his time. I'm not going to not... pay anything. I'm no just doing pay. it for fun. Uh, I was just I'm asking. Gonna, come he, on. I, listen, I'm trying to make the. I'm moving mountains for you. If his okay, agent maybe I'll asks give him for a money. Bit for his donation. Maybe I'll give him a little bit of donation for him. Yeah, that, that could be okay, kind of. Right. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, I, like, I, look, I, we I, can I, work I, on it. Look, you're, you're, this maybe. You're maybe asking me to move mountains for you, C Man. I'm just saying. Maybe I get to keep their socks, too. That'd be kind of nice. I don't know. What's cool. But all right, we'll have fun. We'll figure all right, all right. I'll, I'll, all right. All right. Oh, yeah, we'll all have right. fun. Thank you, buddy. We'll talk soon, okay? You you have a good time out Thanks, there. Thanks, man. Thanks. Bye. 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 That is Seaman, ladies and gentlemen, from wow. Long Island. Wow, that was worth the wait. That was <laughs> yeah. definitely worth the wait. We learned a lot. We learned a whole lot about Seaman. <laughs> And about um, the hut in Vietnam. Yeah, really learned stuff. a lot that about Vietnam. That's like a really super weird version of Deer <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the alternate ending director's cut. You know, every time I hear CCR now, I'm going to think of his story. Right. Yeah. Why? Because fortunate son. Fortunate son. Yeah, he yeah. was a fortunate son in that day. Indeed. <laughs> Creating wow. Seaman Revival. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, those that know Seaman know that this man is, uh, he love, he's, it's all about love of the game with this guy. And he's a one of a kind. It's pretty cool, I guess. So do you think we'll be able to get Leo and Sean Mendez? I'm yeah, working on it. Yeah, it's a fine. long shot. That's why I kept trying to downplay it, because I don't, I don't want him to get, like, really hyped about it. And, well, and be Olivia, you reach out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. What about Bobby Lee, people said in the chat? That's <laughs> that's more feasible. I'm sure he'd be down. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so cool if like whatever guests are at the live show, they just come out and see man is like <laughs> you eight, you four. Just rating people. I mean yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down about my feet. He, I'd be down to bring Bobby and uh yeah. Oliver and uh, uh post Malone maybe could let's we just, could let's get us bring him a buffet. A buffet yeah. 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 You know what could be cool if we have a curtain 
and we all put our feet oh. through it, and he has to say which is his favorite foot or slash whose foot is whose. Blind, oh my blind God. test, double blind mm -hmm. test. Interesting. But I'm also feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty happy. Not only I lost weight, but uh, I got a six from Seaman. You did. Pretty good. Yeah. If yeah. I recall, I think the highest grade he gave last time was Zach's brother got a six. That's not All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm feeling like a million bucks. He's a tough critic. Oh, people are saying Hassan. Yeah, he would love Hassan's feet. <laughs> I'm sure he would go crazy for those. Howie Mandel. <laughs> sure, I'm sure he'd be down for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When my friend Seaman bent over. <laughs> I guess shit. We gotta go move on to our main segment. Um, yeah. There's still a main segment. There's the yeah, uh, clickbait not. tier list. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get. Let's just jump into that. <laughs> um. I feel like that was the main segment. I know. I, it kind of became it, it was, didn't it? it? It was a whole <laughs> feast. It was Thanksgiving dinner, man. I actually gotta pee again, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that. Uh, and then am I gonna I'm gonna open the album and we'll do it. So yeah, I have see. the tier list over here, so I can kind of operate that. But okay, you, let's you should it. show the album because they're much bigger, you know, versions. Of okay, the I'm gonna go to the there. bathroom. I'll be right back, and we will we'll get to the clickbait Olympics. Sounds uh, good. Right. So I can give some setup for this. Actually, uh, we were talking about what we're gonna talk about today, yesterday, and uh, we were mentioning how Philip DeFranco has been stepping up his clickbait game. And uh, he may Big be, time. yeah, he may be coming for Ethan's title, and so then we happen to just, you know, browse through some of our past videos, and we, uh, you know, you forget some of the titles and thumbnails we've used in the past. So we thought it'd be a fun segment to to go we over. We kind of remembered that about a year ago we went through a period of like, I don't know, it was probably like two months, three months, where we just decided to amuse ourselves by doing the most over the top clickbait that we could think of, no shame, um, with Math zero shame. Off. Yeah, which uh, today was kind of an echo of that. That's sort of why we did it. Yeah. Uh, one of the style of uh, clickbaits for today's episode, which, by the way, this this thumb I'm looking at the thumbnail for today's episode right now. It, it is an all timer. Yeah. It really is. And Sorry. last night when we were throwing out ideas for like the big, the last clickbait, the clickbait of all clickbaits, whenever anybody gave anything, it was like, nope, we did that. Yeah. Nope, yeah. we did that. Yeah. <laughs> we've done been there, all. done that. But yeah, I mean. Philly really is leaning into the clickbait, but I got to say he's behind the wave a little bit because he's, what he, he's been, I mean, he's like clickbaiting like Belle Delphine. We were on that wave like two, three years ago. That's true. That's true. He needs to catch up a little bit. Yeah. Get with the time. And he, he also so like thick. always talks about the stories. Like, like, come on. You just got to say a sentence, dude, and you're good. You know? <laughs> 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 Somebody's saying uh, hospital clickbait is S tier. Well, yeah, you clicking. You, you may be right about that, and that is definitely one clicking. that made it into the album. Did uh, we, do we include the uh, thinking process uh, that led to the hospital one? I think they're talking about a different hospital one. Oh, potentially, okay. but yeah, we did. I didn't. <laughs> there's, I, I didn't include there's that. There's multiple. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah there yeah, was. Yeah. We have one in there that I, we showed once on the show, but we never ended up using. Right. And okay. we showed Cam's process of going through that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that is in the album, and so that one we should probably just do. I don't even know if it's fair to rate that one because it was never mm, actually. Yeah, it's more used. of a goof and a gap. It's at the very yeah, yeah, end. It's at so. the very end. So we'll we'll get to do that. Do it. How the sausage is made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of love and craft and care that goes into these thumbnails, let me tell you. <laughs> Usually, you know, 10 minutes before we go live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, I hear you guys talking about Philip DeFranco's clickbait game. What's he doing? That's so crazy. It's not so crazy. But 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 okay, so like, just look at yesterday's episode. Uh, it's a great example, and we can kind of explain, like, what led us to wanting to do this. Yeah. So if you just go... Over to Sexy Phil's channel. Yep. And you need to know Belle Delphine. Yep. Daddy. So Belle Delphine versus Ana de Armas. So it's like, okay, versus, right? Mm hmm. So, like, did they get into some sort of drama to, against each other? Are they beefing on Twitter? Mm -hmm. What's no, going on? Better. Okay. And then you click on it and you go through it, and it's just a story about Ana basically saying that like i guess she's done a number of sex scenes in movies and those sex scenes wind up on porn websites and she's upset about that because it who's this, upset bell or anna anna sex okay and then phil just makes the point you know it's not like somebody like bell delphine who does this on purpose 
That's it. Oh. That, that's the verses. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. So yeah, well, like, you know what's funny? I saw this on my homepage. Okay. And I was like, How that's a bit it? of a stretch. That's a bit of a stretch. Verses. <laughs> well, yeah, and just uh, managing to get Belle Delphine in the thumbnail is right. pretty impressive. Because right. when I saw that, I was like, hmm, I don't think anything came up there. Because whenever she goes on the <laughs> internet, everyone talks about it. Yep. But there it is. Well played, Phil. He got he got more views than the last one. The the disturbing truth about Beyond Meat. Uh, whatever. These scammers are getting worse. We need to talk about true crime content. Wow, horrible coward Brett Favre exposed. <laughs> and he doesn't do it all the time. It was just that one's good. That one's good. Well, he we know that we know that he's good at that. He'll mention me. And passing, right? In the biggest passing way, just so he could drop me in the thumbnail. And trust me, I love that. That's a, that's a compliment. <laughs> I mean, the fact that that he thinks that helps his viewership is is just uh, a huge dub. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, wow. But yeah, that just got the conversation starting uh, started, and we we're like, you know, <laughs> he needs to really step up his game though if he wants to get on our level and then I, yeah. I believe I went and screenshotted one of you know the one and you you in the hospital or some shit it's so funny <laughs> yeah we got pretty good some of these are just incredible so um, this episode will be erased in 24 hours this one is not that impressive what was the clickbait again <laughs> or what what were we referring to in the episode uh... it was a zoom episode like we zoomed in you had covid and then mm. it wasn't a good episode, so you were like, oh, we, we're going to delete this. Just a joke. Yeah. Right. I think that it, it came up at the end of the yeah. episode. You were like, this is the worst episode ever. We should change the title to this episode will be deleted. That's really good. And I love that it's just a small comment at the end of a three-hour podcast. Right. <laughs> but it's good. But I think in terms of, like, persuasive <laughs> clickbaiting, it's not it's that good. It's not uh, that I don't know. I already crazy see. good. This yeah. one made me nervous. That one got me. Mm. I, I, these are comments from the chat, so oh, really? you know, yeah. I mean, I'm just I'm seeing it. But here's the thing: D didn't it, didn't that one start with 12 hours? Because I I think I remember we us kept increasing yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was well, because funny. we're like it's been out 12 hours. People right, are yeah. lying. right. So bump yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's better. There's much better. Yeah, there's so. better. I don't know. The thing that about this is like, I don't know, are we rating like the effectiveness of the clickbait or the obscenity of the clickbait? It's a total package, right? Yeah, I think I think there's it, a lot more obscene. Yeah, but also how effective is it on you? I think both. Yeah, I it's think got to be both. I think this one's those. a C. I'm yeah. not impressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like dramatic, dramatic, but it, it it gives people incentive to click. You know. I mean, wait till you see some of these other ones. You're gonna <laughs> shit your pants. The podcast is ending. I mean, this, yeah, this, I love this thumbnail. <laughs> Holding the sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking it off the wall. <laughs> that's a good thumbnail. No, that's uh -huh. good. And, and what you, was this a reference to? I. So here's the thing. A lot of these were absolutely nothing. Like literally just <laughs> arbitrary. Be something. No, but like there there are a handful in here that really legitimately I remember the ones that were nothing, which was like but but this one had to be a reference to something. I don't know. Let me get let me go look real quick. Take take a look at what was going on it in that episode. It must have been something like you're changing a segment or a set. maybe we just took some shit off the background. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go D. It was mom's basement ending. It was the. Uh, was, yeah. Oh, good, Cam. Good. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's right. Here it is. The, I found the section. The end of the podcast. That's exactly right. So it's not our podcast. It's <laughs> we a got, podcast. We never is said. Ending. We said the podcast is ending. Uh, so that is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty, That's pretty good. This one's good. This one's a B. Yeah, this that one's. Uh, yeah. B, B or a? a? Maybe even A. Maybe A. I mean, like the, the ethically. That's correct. Dude, that, that yeah. thumbnail is just, it's great. Yeah, I'm holding the yeah. sign. We, we had to unscrew that and everything, I think. <laughs> yeah. So let's do A, yeah. Okay. And, and the views, I mean, looking at the views, you can tell that it was a Yeah, I did pretty good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Which, RIP to mom's basement, still... <laughs> miss it, man. Miss it every day. <laughs> uh, I'm doing A, too. Sad, I'm sad to say that Banks and Keemstar will never speak again. It sucks. I miss that podcast. Dynamic duo. Uh, I love it. 
Uh, uh, this one is <laughs> This one's an a, a D, an F. I got hand enlargement surgery. That's so bad. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, this was obviously this, just a joke because... Uh, it's not even clickbait, you know. It's, it's like, just weird. I think I threw this idea out there as a joke and you just you said, yeah, whatever, we'll go with it. Because yeah. we didn't have a good title. Yeah. And it was just the joke about me having small hands, so... It's funny though. That one's a D, man. You think it's D? It's horrible. There's nothing clickbait about, about it. it. It's I just say weird. D. <laughs> it's D. I feel bro. like it gets some. Okay. <laughs> no shot, man. That's a that's bottom. All right, bottom tier. There's literally no compelling <laughs> reason to click that. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna go D. Everyone's saying F or S. People want this S now. Okay, now this one I think there was this was related to nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And this was <laughs> this was fucking insanely shameful. <laughs> this was the uh wasn't this also another type of enlargement surgery? Uh, I had to get probably was surgery. that the length the the, length the, 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 the the leg lengthening surgery. Oh, was this Zaddy long legs? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? So, so that was the, that was this episode. Sure. I'm gonna check, but I had. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah. So we were me. watching um, <laughs> this doctor who specialized in actually making you taller. Two. He could add oh. three to five inches I... by prolonging your legs. <laughs> so we did this. We. I think we just got a stock photo. Of a, yeah, some operation. And, but the practical. This is a mix of practicality and digital. You did a great job on this one, Cam. Well, you also real. You, you uh, put Sharpie on your arm there. That's real Sharpie. Oh, that's my arm. Yeah, like okay, you your arm. That's it, why I was like, it looked. Yeah, you real. were laying on our table <laughs> in the <laughs> office. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm scrubbing but, through the episode. I don't see Zaddy Long Legs in here. I'm looking. It was that. I remember. I don't know. Maybe did we talk about it before? They're saying something about Ace legs. Family. Oh, maybe it was that we were gonna do a sketch oh, about it. Oh, I know it. It was it was a um, parody of Catherine McBroom oh. thumbnail. That was oh. I had to get emergency surgery. You're right. Mm. She had one where oh. idiot dramatic. But it was in the same like <laughs> time <laughs> timeline as the Got enlargement. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of people in the chat knew it. Hey, you guys are oh. slick. Yeah, can somebody cool. keep an eye on the chat because they're probably gonna get to it before got us. It, yeah. yeah. You guys can suck a fat uh, donut. So, okay. so this one wasn't effective. You can tell on the views it wasn't super effective, but it's so shameless and so fucking good. I'm gonna give it a B. Yeah. If it had more views, I would put it up to an A. I feel like sometimes your clickbait thumbnails even even entice me, and like I'm inside and I know right. all this stuff. This would not pull me in because I'll know. You know how I know yeah. they're good when my mom texts me or calls me and says, what "My happened? mom too." That yeah. Funny. Yes. It's like, did you even click parents? the video? They didn't even click it. It happened kind of recently. My mom was like, "What happened? I saw Ethan <laughs> something." What's funny about these two is that they're one episode after another. And they're both <laughs> surgery related, <laughs> so maybe that has. <laughs> you know, speak, speaking of people falling for clickbait, my mom texts me. She's all, "What's going on? What does Ethan do?" <laughs> yeah, my parents do that sometimes That's too. Awesome. Like, my mom, my mom falls for every. <laughs> yeah. So we need we need a this category That's for mom. You know. text. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, my yeah, we should start my mom only called me once, and it, actually Steve told her to call me. Her boyfriend. Oh. It was uh, I made a joke uh, about you in the pink shirt calling you Majin Buu, and mm -hmm. like there was some like fan edit just uploaded it saying that uh, Ethan fires AB for calling him fat. Oh. And they, <laughs> my mom flipped out on me. Oh my god. god. They should just click the video first. <laughs> they just see the title and they freak <laughs> out. My mom every time. Okay, so so up next, we broke we broke up. This one's fire. I think this, this one is one is of the first fire ones because the thumbnail looks so candid. It was like we would looked at a bunch of breakup videos and we like <laughs> nailed this. <laughs> What's funny about this video is it starts with a sketch about us talking about clickbait. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And I think easy. this one actually works really harmoniously because we were talking about breakup videos and videos like this. Mm -hmm. This thumb and title were fire, and you can yeah. see the views are good. This might be S tier. Yeah, <laughs> I see a lot of people saying it got them. Yeah. I think it's a work of art. I think this one's S tier. I, I think this is our first S tier. <laughs> and the reason I think it was also. Look good, at my acting. Yeah, you look. That, good, that takes bro. a lot yeah, of me yeah. to get something to look <laughs> like that. <laughs> And I think it was one of the first clickbaits we did, so I think it was extra effective too. Mm -hmm. Wow, so good. Yeah, it, tons of S. It, it's S. It's S for sure. Okay, we got our first S going down. I'm retiring. I quit. I quit. With <laughs> drama alert style. 
So this is real interesting. I got uh, a lot of views. Oh, Chris. that's when Keemstar said he was going to retire. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, think we, I think we just copied his whole yeah. format there. Just put my put me in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a copy. I love how these episodes are all like one after another, too. <laughs> this is all, like all the, same month. the same time, <laughs> yeah. Ten months ago. The clickbait AR. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, there was a period of time where we just leaned into it heavily. It ruthless. Yeah. So the thing about this one is I would think that people would see it as a joke, but the views are incredible. And the I'm retiring mm -hmm. might be very compelling. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What where, What do you guys think about this one? I mean, the views are throwing me off. They're so high. Right. Yeah, I mean... I guess the topic was super hot, mm. too. What can you start with? Let me see. Yeah. I don't think, was it? Well, let's I don't see when it... cares about, it, I, about us. I think there was a controversy going on around the time, too, that might have well, made it more believable. That you would just, like, yeah. at that point, yeah. be like, you know what, fuck it. Oh. Like yeah, maybe we got a that was our Halloween episode too. It was so. around last like fall. Something happened. So yes. Mm. Maybe people Did we know. get a strike around then? Because we had gotten the strike because I pretended to be someone's girlfriend. Oh. And then we got uh, uh, there was that, yeah. And it was like that was coming off of I a see. very dramatic. You know, uh -huh. the thing is though, it's all in the title and thumb. So people are clicking for that. I'm okay. seeing yeah. The, I'm seeing a oh, majority B from the chat. Yeah, right a lot now. of B. A lot of B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a B. It's just I think the that's views fair. are so yeah. high. Just yeah, know. Good. I probably would have rated it even lower if the views right. weren't so high. But I think B is pretty fair for this. Okay, I think uh, I think we're all on the same page. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I don't know is even clickbait, uh, but it's just artistry. This I remember Ian made, and I was watching him as he made well, it, and oh. it's a work of art. And, well, yeah. what makes it clickbait is the title in conjunction with the uh... Shane Dawson's 100% canceled after this. Wasn't this over nothing? I think oh. it was over nothing. It was yeah. over nothing. But there's a clear implication. <laughs> what were we talking about? It was about? his his comeback a... video. <laughs> Dude, this shit is so funny, bro. <laughs> I get over it. It still cracks me the fuck up, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That's one of the best thumbnails ever. Yeah. This is one for the you, you could frame it on a wall. Was this the origin of, of that picture of you too? It may have been. Because we've used <laughs> we, we went through a long period of time where Ian was just using that same color that same picture of Ethan and changing the shirt color every time. Pretty for like awesome. 40 thumbnails. Yeah, we used this now. exact photo well, of me. In the beginning we weren't even changing the shirt color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, yeah. The there's were... a lot of A's. I I kind of agree with the A. There's the... some S's though. It's actually. not S. Yeah, it's I don't not think S. it quite raises that level. I think A is maybe fair. The views yeah. are amazing, but I think that was just a thing at the time. Yeah. With the Shane, in the title, but yeah, I'll, I I'm happy giving it an A. <laughs> yeah, that feels fair. That feels fair. Shane's cat responds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job, Ian. Iconic. <laughs> uh, this one is Kim Kardashian screamed at me in the streets of New York City. We tried our best to make it look like I was there. I don't know if, if it really is a hard, it's a call order, obviously. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not fantastic. I think Cam did as good as he possibly could, given yeah. the, like, the angles are just not right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not his fault. <laughs> but I remember what this was. Me and Ela were in New York, and she was staying at the same hotel as us, and we just saw her. Downstairs, there was like a huge mob of yeah, people. You saw her out a window. Bro, we saw yeah. her for like 5 <laughs> seconds. Okay, so that is pretty insane. I didn't even see her. <laughs> you didn't see her? No. Oh, we saw her mom. Yeah. No, we never saw her. We saw her. <laughs> we saw her mom. What was she trunk? was there, but that was it. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, like a whole fleet of, uh, of uh, what do you call those massive SUVs? Escalades. Escalades rolled up. She has quite an entourage, man. And there was like... It was crazy. It was like the president is in town. Yeah. Like, people were gathering across from the hotel to look out and... Yeah, and there's the a cars. bunch of tourists there, so everyone was starting to stop. There was probably like 300 people just got... It was weird. <laughs> Here, AB, yeah. AB just sent... See, these are after, after Dark 53, 54, And, and this 55. is just how they appear on the channel. I didn't combine them or anything. <laughs> they're in a row. Yeah. They're in a row like that. Wait, <laughs> Kim stars in the color block. What is that? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, remember, 
remember James Charles stole like the <laughs> color black. There was I don't know who, who knows, but I just Good love times. I love the blue shirt, purple shirt. Oh, okay. There was three in a row where we <laughs> actually. Did I'm sorry. There's a fourth one. I just didn't scroll down. Enough. I think there was even more. I think yeah, yeah but we were going for a while just like with that. on the channel page. It's in that order without me manipulating it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, Natalie, thank know. you for the gift, dude. Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to my ex boyfriend Eric, who has a micro penis. Shout out. And he works for Texas well, Instruments in Dallas. <laughs> 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 he now has started a community group for men with micro penises, funded by TI. Congratulations, Eric. The that penis. might be a snarky. Uh, that donation. seems relatively targeted. Uh, so Eric um, oh, and Dallas. Uh, Two hundred dollars. Like he's open about it, right? Yeah. I'm, be proud of your micro group. penis. Uh, he has a massive penis. Shout out. Shout out to Natalie S., who clearly Shout out. he did something wrong <laughs> to her. Uh, but there it is. Don't fuck with, with uh, Natalie. Do not. All right, so this Kim Kardashian one. Uh, the views are not great. The views are not great. I got to say, probably the most mixed responses I was seeing in the chat. Like I it, think it's it, a it was, B. I think that that's. It's just not that convincing. The premise is not convincing. I could see it. Yeah, I guess it's a B because of like, it's such a stretch. It's such a stretch, yeah. exactly. But I could see even a C. A C, interesting. Maybe it's a C. What do y'all think? What's the other one in C? Uh, this episode will be erased in 24 hours. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it's better C. than that one. Mm, I'm no, thinking C. You think it's C? Yeah. Let's go C. We've been too. We've been too generous. All right. So see, it is. I. I guess it doesn't matter. But I. I'd, I'd put it as A, just for the Photoshop work in itself. I mean, I love the image, but yeah. I just don't think it's that. I would effective. put it on B. B. I think it's just. We got a lot of ground to cover, yeah, people. Okay. We got to keep moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's go. Let's go. All right. The hardest episode I've ever had to make. <laughs> Wait, it's only one hour. What is this? You were sick, I think. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not that good. <laughs> it's true, actually. It this was very difficult. true. Two? It's about Twitter. And so you just felt like shit. And your, yeah. And your throat was all messed up or whatever. Yeah. So we just wrapped it up. I think it's a D. It's a C. D? No, it's a C. <laughs> D is the fucking dumbass big hand one. <laughs> they could just, it's hard to top that one. <laughs> hmm, I recognize this photo. <laughs> You guys didn't even bother to get a new photo of me from this clickbait. We need to talk. Huh. Good views. Yeah. That might have been the original one. <laughs> oh. That's the OG, I think. I think oh. that is. Oh. Well, it's it's a historic artifact for that fact right. alone, then. Yeah, that's 50. I think the other one started at, what is it? I sent the here. Let me see. Yeah, the other one was 10 months 52, ago. This one is yeah. one year. 52 through 55. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's maybe a C. I don't know, C or B. I mean, the views are good. Mm, we I need would to put talk. B or B or C. It's a B. It's a B then. It's not. It's better than C. Yeah. It's just the thing is, it's not that dressed up. It's like mm -hmm. still an after dark thumbnail, which right. reduces the seriousness of it. Yeah, that's true. This one's fire. Ooh. Finally, we're releasing the DM. <laughs> This one is insanely fire, and I think we played on some frenemies thing, which obviously it was it had nothing to do with that. Uh -huh. and, yeah, but yeah, we yeah. tricked people, yeah. and we copied the exact thumbnail that James Charles used for his uh, uh, Tati response. Video. Dude, this one's ass, bro. This yeah, one's big ass. Yeah. Insane. I think so. The views are hot. <laughs> oh yeah. The clickbait was insane. There was layers to it. The thumbnail was fire. This is S tier all yeah. the way. And we got some yeah, good I memes agree. from it. We got the uh, govern yourself accordingly. From this. Uh, oh, this, for real? This from the oh, that cab. was the DM. It was the, it was the Cab Cab oh. DMs. Oh, that's what it was. Yes. Which has become quite Iconic. the main. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. And it By seems the way, like the I chat just, largely agrees. One, they're they're that, mostly saying dude, yes. that one is is that's S tier. Yep. By the way, I just sent Cab Cab's DMs. He sent me to a LA Times reporter, so mm. shut the fuck out. Okay. You hear that, Cab Cab? LA Times. <laughs> Drive angry. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hmm, wonder what they could be writing about. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. This one's pretty funny. This okay. is absolutely to me. Yes. When we were when we were pulling these together last night, this one got me crying. <laughs> I was laughing so yeah. hard. I, I'm not even joking. I was fucking dying seeing this one again. The problem with this one is that the views are low, but yeah. the clickbait and the 
Photoshop look awesome. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Uh, thank you, uh, Flim Therm, uh, for the oh. 100 donation. Uh, wow. They said, 15.8% of this for Sam's Jeep Fund, 20.78% oh for Olivia's Slave Fund, They're trying to get and the rest aneurysm. is for, uh, to buy AB a temporary beard. Wow. What? Sherm is, uh, oh my he's God. one of Lena's loyal subs on Twitch. He's a good guy. Fan of Wait, who? His who? name is Sherm. He goes oh, by Sherm. Thim, Thim 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 Sherm Dog. I don't know how the fuck oh. to say his name, but he's a good guy. Hi, Sherm. Yep. Get. Thanks get. for the get. get. I'm seeing mostly A's and S's for this one. It's not S, obviously, because yeah, the views are not good. I think A. Yeah. I, I think it's A because everything is working, but it didn't get the views. I yeah. put it B. Oh, you know what? don't be a hater. I'm not. I, I'm just. I just hater look. ass bitch. I love this one. It might. The views <laughs> might be too low to be A. What is the views at? I can't. One point two. I mean, that's not bad. Well, compared to all the other ones, that's that's pretty low. The only one lower is the dumbass thumb fuck. <laughs> it's a really good thumbnail. It's not bad. I think yeah, it's yeah, a really good, good thumbnail. I think the thumb. <laughs> personally, I think the thumb thumb fuck is better <laughs> than. Could be uh, fine. What? I think the thumb fuck's better. I'm sorry. I don't no, know. That's no, you're insane. I think it's so what? exaggerated and just that's fucked up and funny. wild, Zach. Just I, credit oh him. God. Strike. Strike. I think maybe record. maybe if the black eye wasn't there, it would be a little bit more right. I like. I can. But I that's, like it. That's the funny element. I love you're the right, black though. Eye. It, yeah. It's the balance between real and and not. <laughs> but like, you have to get it right on the money. But sometimes it's so ridiculous that you're like, did he really? Photoshop a black eye. So it's like either way you win. Either you believe it what, or you don't. I what, think it's believable as 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 some of the other what ones. What were we playing? What was the clickbait we were playing into on that one? Uh, oh. There was a TikTok trend where people are being right. Yeah. Yeah. Check for corn. Check That's for corn. The, yeah. Oh, where, where they were like, where they were pretending to be arrested. Or it was the sexy, sexy arrest? arrest yeah. Yeah. Uh, we brought the car. Right. Into we the did studio. the sketch. Right. 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 It's an A or an a B. What do you guys think? I think it's an A. I think it's B. I think it's A. All right, A. A it is. Sorry, Zach. Sorry. I know it's your birthday, but... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this one is a D, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's funny and cool, but as far as clickbait and persuadability goes, it's got little less views. What the hell is this? It's very <laughs> odd. Cause it, well, because we were doing the Gecko episode. Oh, the Gecko. And at the time, most of our audience wasn't familiar with him, oh. and so putting him in this and having... <laughs> The title be taking the channel in a new direction. <laughs> I'd I'd put it B. Well, just for the sake, I love Lyle. I mean, he's such love a them. dude. Yeah. This is not a criticism of, of yeah. Uh, Gek <sighs> yeah. Everybody's saying D trash. Yeah, it's a D. Yeah, it's a D. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd it put just B. Is. I don't know. It, it's a D. It's I'm a sorry. D. It just is. Yeah. It's not persuasive at all. Taking the channel in a new direction and then <laughs> midlife crisis. I mean, like. <laughs> it's a funny thumbnail, but as clickbait, it's a failure. I mean, you're yeah. a fucking gecko. It's fucking hilarious. I don't know. Okay. This is a good one. I mean, this hits the same note as our one we did. All right, that's good. Saying goodbye to YouTube. This is a powerful angle. I gotta do more from this spot in our house. <laughs> the views are not. They're mid. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's an A. I guess shock value like worn off or something. I don't okay, know. Okay, yeah, because I was about to say I see that this is off the rails number six, and we haven't gotten it to yet. But there is an off the rails number five, which is like almost <laughs> the same thing. Really? Yes. So this was round two, and the is it this one below? I <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And you'll see this one has great views. That one's at two million. This one's at one point four. We they were back to back. Yeah, we pushed it. Too I think far. technically this one is a better thumbnail, but. Uh, the yeah. other one was first, so right. I think the title on "I'm Sorry, Ela" is the winner, and the photo on this one is the winner of you <laughs> in the powerful place mm -hmm. in the office. <laughs> I'd, I'd put them both S two. I think they're fucking phenomenal. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna thinking this one might be A. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of B from the chat. B, it could be a B, just because the views aren't there. Right. And I, then, I think I agree with that. I think B. Then if we go down to the. Forerunner. Right. I'm sorry, Ela. <laughs> that one crushed. The views are insane, but I don't think it's that good. Yeah. I I don't necessarily agree. I think that's a pretty good one. I it's agree just, with that. The face the just face obviously just looks, looks, looks silly. Yeah. You look constipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's an A then if you guys like that one. You know. 
Ten more? Jesus, how many of these have we done? <laughs> so the last three are all just one that we did. Yeah, use. we're That's closer than it seems. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this really where, counts. Where did, where did we land on these? I'm sorry. The this is a B or a B or a A. That one's an A, and the other one's a B. Got yeah. It. Okay, I think that's good. I don't really know why this one's here. Uh, because that episode came out uh, the day after uh, Frenemies had its giant blowout episode. Right. So you think we just rode that? I'm so yeah. angry. Yeah. Mm. Like literally that. Like the giant blowout where she walked out happened, and then mm. the next day, or maybe it was two days later. We went to the closer. rage room. Yes, it's we had the rage room episode. To do it with Trisha. Oh yeah, yeah. We were Angry. gonna we were gonna do it shoot in the morning, and that evening of is when we had our fight. Yeah. So the next morning we went to the rage room without her, shot this, and then uploaded it the next day. Right. So I'm guessing. I think that's pretty strong clickbait. Mm. Okay. Given the context, you have to understand the context to understand why it's such good. Clickbait. That all being said, I still think it's like a C or a B. See all the way down here. Because it only really 1. is seven million views. Yeah, but it's only really good in the context of knowing mm. the history. I, th I think that you, it's inseparable. You can't take it out of the context. <laughs> I'd put it C too. Yeah. I think you guys I can are being go as harsh. high as B, but that's it. <laughs> you guys are being too harsh. But wait, any other uh, opinions on this? I'm seeing mm -mm. no opinion. I mean, I, I agree with both of you guys. So could go right. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's just, let's go C. Yeah. B, C. 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 Yeah, I think C. C. Okay. <laughs> this one, this was three weeks ago? This is the one oh. that I got my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Our channel may be deleted. I guess it has a million, it's only been three weeks. <laughs> Pretty good. That's a recent one. The face is very good. Yeah. <laughs> and it worried your mom, which is yeah. powerful. Our <laughs> channel may be deleted. Is that when we got our a warning yeah, or something? Yeah, there was a warning or a strike. Or was it the opposite? Here, let me check. I feel like it may have been... I think that was when the strike oh. fell off. Yeah. yeah, that's when we lost. <laughs> and we were like, psych! psych. <laughs> okay, we're ready. <laughs> People... yeah, it's a B, maybe an A, because Eva's mom called her. I'm seeing S's, I'm seeing A's a lot. I don't yeah, think it's, it's an S. No, it's not. I think because people were aware that we were on the, again, context matters in our audience. I think they were aware that we were on thin ice with the strike situation. Right, so it was like... I'm feeling, willing to give it an A. Yeah, it felt real. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, your mom called. That's pretty epic. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of A's and S's. I think, not an S, though. I'll tell you that. I, I agree it's not an S. I think A's fair, though. All right. I've got terrible news. <laughs> so this would be good if there wasn't the H3 TV background, like uh, right. like that kind of ruins. Like the a series. beautiful day behind mm -hmm. you. Mm. How bad can it be? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I think this one's a C. Yeah, it's like you still had time to put a nice background behind yeah. you. Yeah, it's not D bad. I'm not gonna disagree with it's that. It's not great. Yeah, it seems C. seems okay. This is fucking historic clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> this was our show with P Oliver Tree, whose yes. name still is not even in the title. <laughs> it was just the Oliver Tree episode. <laughs> Frenemies is back in short lived. That's kind of like an S tier. I think this might be S tier. Yeah, we we went like we hit the do break only in case of emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we you broke the glass. We even called it Frenemies number forty. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Yeah, it's all S's in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be. A I had to tell our accountant who calculates Trisha's commission. I said, just so you know, number 40 is not a real friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the end here. Yeah. So that's an S? Yeah, that's an S. Yeah, that's that's an definitely S. S. We finally landed our dream guest. It's Wally P. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's a D, but I love it. D? I think that's too harsh. It's Maybe not C. good. It, uh, it's pretty decent views. Okay, it's decent. A C. It's decent. Yeah, yeah I, think it's a, I think it's B, C. C. It's a pretty good thumbnail. It's not a B. It's pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like, it's not like bad. It. It's kind of fun. You guys think it's kind of pretty good. I can have fun with that. You guys I think just it's like C the idea of him being a Pokemon. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does say his name constantly. His own name. Yeah. True. <laughs> All right. I mean, what do you? I've seen a lot of C's as well. Yeah. Okay. C. Saw shock. Saddened, angry. <laughs> Without even an episode number in it, just... <laughs> and a still, a still. Right. So we all definitely tried hard. Huh. The views are not good. No. Dude, I don't even remember oh. this. I have no idea what this is. No, no, yeah. I'm no. 
I is no that not memory. the... Hold on. Oh, that's not clickbait, I think. Yeah. That was after yeah. Uvalde, I'm pretty sure. Why the mm. fuck would you include this? <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is... Bro, why would you include that? I didn't... I <laughs> thought... Because, I mean, can you blame me for thinking it was clickbait? That's I mean, a perfect damn, example. Was, Listen, Dan, that was Dan's, Dan's, Dan's I didn't want covering. to say it if I was wrong. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Dan's covering. It's my fault. That's my fault. Oh, that was you. I put, I put all these in, yeah. No, I... I no, no, no. He doesn't have to take all the blame. I, because I went through it, and there were a few that, that got... There were so, a few po false positives in there mm -hmm. that got AB that I pulled out, but I didn't pull this one out. Do you not so. care about those? The what happened there? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Oh, so This is just. This is why you don't clickbait. Because look, it's the boy who cried wolf now. Yeah, like, we're not the ones who clickbaited it. Well, by the <laughs> way, not great views. So. Yeah. That passing away. Fuck, fuck yeah. <laughs> Stop, oh my Zach. God. Stop Zach, it. You're a fucking <laughs> demon for that. Hold on. It's way too soon to be joking do about not that. Yeah, do not do that. Sorry. Given the past, Joker brain. All right, I needed oh, yeah, yeah. to clear the air here. All right, there's just... there's My bad. Let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. We'll get Ashamed that one to admit this. <laughs> nah, that picture's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. Not great views. I think the title's a little bit of a stretch, but yeah. the picture's so good. The picture's great. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, views 1.1, 1 .1, not the best. No. I feel like we're learning a lot about. Yeah, what works and what doesn't. Going we're going to get better. Yeah. It's good analysis. <laughs> I think the better title for this would have been like something about just like, I can't believe this happened or something. Because I'm ashamed to admit this. Well, what was it based on? Mm. Maybe, oh, Probably maybe nothing. we were doing sharing story times about the most embarrassing oh, thing. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. it's one year ago. So that was the the crew tells embarrassing story. Yeah, this is this is this is it. I just when I open it up, I'm telling the story of me kissing my own arm. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> and Zach, yeah, shitting on the grass and all that. I say like C for this. Like not the worst, but not great. Yeah. I love the image, but the views are bad, so I guess it's a C. Can I can I just rewind for one second? I'm so sorry. I do apologize. It's okay. fine. It was too far. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's well well. <laughs> Words are better than doing shut up bitch over Trisha's uh Right, yeah. Uh, worse. 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 Definitely oh, definitely worse. worse. Okay. Yeah. Definitely Too worse. far. It it's okay. You click the button. Yeah. Mm. Listen. Listen. Rare Zach. Uh, you, have, L. you have qualified immunity back there. <laughs> okay. You know, that you're in a hazardous job. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. No, yeah, I don't I, I it was just like a listen. No. And then there was nothing after. <laughs> listen. So the next one is the last one and it's really just a set of three and this is kind of a bonus round because we didn't <laughs> use this oh yeah but because <laughs> we thought it was too far but this is <laughs> the funniest thumbnail that we've ever made and it's such a shame that it never saw the this was a making fun of a david dobrik <laughs> yeah to me this is this would have been s plus tier if uh <laughs> yeah we if we actually it. used it yeah i, I sent uh three different versions of this as well and just oh, yeah, here you go they're in there yeah oh, okay yeah, it's that's the actual photo. <laughs> it's stolen Valor. It ended up being me. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. You made me change AB's hair to blonde. Yeah, because oh, that's an old picture of me, so Cam turned my hair blonde. It wasn't blue. And then we didn't use it. You made poor like, Cam make like five versions. Like, <laughs> and I, rem I remember you were very meticulous about your version, too. Like, I had, I had chest hair on there. Yeah. Well, it didn't look real because it was his chest, yeah. you see. I had to change oh, yeah. the nose. It didn't blonde. look real at all. Oh, yeah. God. I love this one so much because I took the original photo at the uh -huh. time. I was so scared of and worried how AB looked. And now I just associate it with this, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Purge the bad memory. Much better association. <laughs> yeah, we fucked up not using this. Yeah. We're talking about titling it, AB died. We could use that for this episode. This is this is the Alpha Look, and Omega <laughs> tier. This is, this is off the chart. So well, it was it's a David here. Dobrik no. impression. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally what he does. Yeah. I, mean, I was sticking my tongue out. I've seen chat say triple S tier. Triple yeah, S. Yeah, triple S. Maybe we can um, use plus, this plus, in plus. an upcoming episode. This one's ours? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, what? What my about reaction this one? to a lot of the stuff? Use it I'm for sure, today's episode. I'm sure we could use it. We well, referenced you guys it. Like my, today's episode. Oh, I, I guess oh, I, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. It's it's saying, shame like, I'm, this one. I'm always on the verge of ending up in the hospital. Maybe the highlight. It would have been. It would have been great for the chip episode. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it could be the highlight. I'm gonna juice the shit out of this segment. I'm gonna do a highlight for every. <laughs> <time> <laughs> okay. Oh, that could be the. 
for this segment, this could be for the highlight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this thumbnail turned out really good, but I'm afraid that the title may not <laughs> oh be working God. in good synergy. So maybe it's like Hila's gone. What? She's gone. She's I, gone. Left. I would just She's put. Gone. I, She's gone. She period. Left. She left me. She left is a really good. <laughs> she I would left. just put. I cheated. And just believe no, because no one believes that. Nobody <laughs> it should be she left. But, her. but that's what I'm saying. It's like so ridiculous that <laughs> she left is pretty good. Easy. She yeah. left. That yeah. feels like a it real. It sounds title. emotional enough yeah. to like, like possibly be didn't, real. We, didn't we do that? That's what I'm saying. I feel like we did that. It was the name. No, we never did. The, but right, Hila left. never did it. <laughs> she she was again. leaving. Hold on. Let's do. Let's throw it to the poll because I really want to maximize here. We've we've come so far. We've learned so much. Let's put it into action here today. I say, per personally, with everything I've learned here today, I see the picture and I see she left. That's yes. so good. That's I powerful. agree. So I there's she left. Suggestions. And then, AB, what not... did you suggest? Uh, oh, I said she cheated. Or I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. Okay. All lowercase, they're saying. That's very good. Very good. <laughs> yes. No After Dark 65 either. I gotta say, I think she left is better too. Be honest. No, she period. Left, bro. no period. She left. No punctuation. No punctuation. So no lowercase. Dark. She left. Just she. I don't. Let I think that. Let me read you something from the chat. Oh. I yeah. begged her to stay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty decent. She took the kids. Ooh. She took the kids. Shit. Ooh. You know what? It's a too far. It's a little gross to include. I don't want to. Yeah. 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 I, I lost her. Mm. I, was I left unfaithful. that yogurt store and didn't get the yogurt that I wanted. <laughs> That could uh, be a did, good title. That's did, a perspective. Uh, love, did you have a, something to say? People say we cut you off. Yeah, sorry. I'm on a delay, so it's kind of uh, How about no title? <laughs> no, nothing? Oh. Just a period? Yeah. <laughs> Just period. yeah. <laughs> uh, there, I don't think I've this, ever seen that work, though. There is this, uh, like, a character in, uh, like, Windows that that is nothing. Right. You can't see no. it. It's kind I of think funny. she left. There I like the idea, but I think she yeah. left. I think it would look so That's, weird in, kinda, in the YouTube suggestions. So people would click thing. it. Yeah. I think my I wife like, went out for pizza without me. I like the idea. <laughs> my <laughs> wife went out for pizza without me. <laughs> I, I mean, this is this is how heartbroken he was. For right. Me. Just got in bed and cried. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I heard that they separated Quartering and his She's wife. She's suing. She's suing. Mm, I think she left is better. So just she left, lowercase, no Ooh. no period. Ela, comma, if you're watching. <gasps> <laughs> oh. That is so good. Yo, we that gotta is, ask that like, more. That's kind of scary. Like, it's that's so real. dark. Oh my god. <laughs> That's shocking. That one might be too much. That that's, was some serious I don't, shit. I think that's pretty that good. Nicholas in the chat. That. All right, let, let's let's throw one. it to a poll. I feel like we have a good one. A lot of good ones. She um, left. Here, I'm gonna use our new poll. Oh, we have a new polling technology. New polling technology because it allows us to have more than four options, which we definitely have more than four here. Also, so. you'll be able to see it on screen, right? Yes, indeed. That's pretty exciting. We heard the feedback from the Fuba Troopers that. The YouTube polls do not show in the replay. Okay, so, so we're gonna put it on screen. So she that, left. So title. She left. All all lowercase, no punctuation. Uh huh. Hila, if you're watching. Hila, comma, yeah. if you are but watching. Also, no, no, no punctuation. All lowercase. All lowercase. Just one comma. Right. Okay. No period. Got it. Um, what were the uh, the blank, no title. Just nothing. I think I like that idea, but for a different video. Mm. No thing. Well, let's include it. Let's include it. Okay, just nothing. Nothing. Just nothing. nothing. <laughs> Could be fun to do like a f black screen sometime in the future too, and nothing. Yeah. I don't think that works, bro. <laughs> people, we people have tried that shit. I think the YouTube doesn't like those videos. I just want everyone to keep in mind this is one time where the cheating thing would actually make sense because of Young Gravy. So yeah. just keep that in mind. Well, it's all there. The DNA is all here. Yeah, the left. Oh, people suggesting just yeah, I'm the saying, date? Instead of something that like blank or something. We right. could do that. We could definitely do that, but I'm suggesting it another time. Right. Yeah. People it's are suggesting over. just the date. Well, hold on. Today's um, date. Oh, the date? That's <laughs> fucking gnarly. Or yeah, just again. like a code, like XX. Again, these are all good, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. but these can be used at any time. By the way, love, if you want to try it on the highlights channel, that could be interesting to see if like the <laughs> dot or the nothing or the black on black, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right. That's such a powerful weapon. Well, you can get yeah. you can get a small sample there and see. But you might actually be right, though, Ethan. YouTube might like just hardcore suppress that. 
they do. If it's just black and no title, they don't. They don't. Yeah, I probably won't suggest it. They don't want that in their on their homepage and sidebar. Last episode yeah. ruined my marriage. Guys, I'm not gonna do anything with, with the kids. Yeah. I miss Theo. Someone said. I was like, Are you? No, 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 no. Dear Ela. Dear Ela, that's good. That's like, like addressed to her. That feels like he killed me. Right? You guys get that vibe? <laughs> <laughs> Kill this asshole. Another one, I think people. Just, oh, the date, the the years of your awesome. marriage, like, 20, 2013 to twenty twenty two. We almost made it. That to seems a like <laughs> someone died. We almost made it to a decade oh or something. God. Like First of all, I don't want to clickbait uh, anyone dying. <laughs> the best almost God ten forbid. years of my life. Then again, that's like dying shit. <laughs> oh, people saying, uh, yeah, the file name. That's always a good one. So, something yeah, like O nine dash two three dash. 2022.mp4. Oh, combine those two. Oh, yeah, that was from C C U Maui or whatever the fuck. Dot .mp4. You, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. That's great. Okay. So okay. we have one, two, three, four, five options so far. Someone said, Ela, please watch. She found out. <laughs> she, she found out. Ela, please forgive me. Ela, come home. Ela, come home. Ela, come home is good. Knock it over my wife. Ela, <laughs> come home is crazy. It's over. You guys have good ideas. People right. like Ela. We're, we're up to eight options here. All right, I think, I think we have that's a, a lot. Yeah, let's run it. <clears throat> okay, so stand by. Now this, we got all kinds of fancy stuff. I can allow people to select multiple options. So they don't have to pick just one. They can pick let each one pick, they think uh, is good. Let them pick uh, two options. I don't. I think it's either man. or. It's either like you pick all the ones. It's like you can pick okay, as many as you want. That. You want to do that? Yeah. I'm rank the vote. Can't rank do that. Oh wait, no, it does. Exact number two. There it is. You guys get. Hey, two. so you get two choices. Oh, that's so cool. Two, two, two. Okay. Uh, stand by. One vote per IP address. Alright, everybody, get your votes in. Uh, this is important. And I'm going to... Uh, uh, Lair, it said, it's over. But I think we, that's in there, isn't there? I feel mm. like it's... or something similar. A title that's just like... Ela. I feel <laughs> like that would get a lot of attention. <laughs> Alright, well, the poll's made, so... Just Ela. <laughs> yeah. uh, a, a, a suggestion uh, from FusiTube, I felt gay. I felt worthless. Epic. I felt ugly. <laughs> I felt gay. I <laughs> felt that no, uh, that, like that's just based on what they told me. All right, here's the poll. Dude, that fucking the fourth part of that <laughs> yeah. is so funny. He's <laughs> just stumbling over it. Oh shit, dude! What the fuck? Wait, we're doing straw polls. That's that's not even integrated. That's, it is integrated. Watch. Really? How I'm is it sorry. integrated? Because we set up a whole thing that. Uh, oh wow! Ian's gonna be able to put this on screen. It's it's, it's it says 404. Uh, not sure what that. Is. I'm afraid I oh, can't I know what do happened. that. Uh, Wait, how is it integrated? It's just a link in chat. No, it's, oh, it, sh no. it shows on. It's just gonna yes. show on screen as well. They're working on something. This is this is groundbreaking. Just what? Okay, okay, because you, you I could just pull it up on the browser. Work with me. I mean, it's not that much better <laughs> than just opening the browser, is it? Okay, but now people Wait, it's covering that... Ela's head. <laughs> Man, work with I'm just saying. listen. Dan, Dan worked very hard on. on you this. did. It's it's not as simple as you think. It is. It's fairly simple. But the <laughs> <laughs> but the point is is that now when people watch this them. later, they can actually see it. Don't yeah, act if like I that. Open the browser. You just show. No. Okay, then do it that way. Have fun. Go ahead. But. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, what's the it's covering your head? <laughs> okay, well, like, I'm not. It arguing. can be moved. I, I'm not. I'm not arguing. I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to say it was bad. I'm just saying it's not that dope. It looks pretty. All right, crazy. we'll take it off the overlay. There you go. Oh, now you okay. open it right there. Trade it out. There you go. I liked it. I like it. See, I it's it customized. It's I got the H3, H3 podcast colors it on it. Way more fancy than what. It's I way more did. fancy. It gives us all of these options. I want it back. Slightly I didn't delay. say remove it. I just say I just I was just being I was just being a little catty, dude. Chill. Chill. It's a it's a good overlay. <laughs> it's pretty good. So people are liking <laughs> this is interesting because what was the one that everyone was liking before? She left. Or she found out. Um oh, yeah, she left. she left was the 
one and then that and then Nicholas came out with the banger. Mm -hmm. Damn. You live you're watching is dominating. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that one is so intense. That's it. Let's change the title. Watch our views go up immediately. You are we playing with like fire. Like this is like too much like people are gonna think something happened to me or I, I went missing. Mm. Yeah, maybe, but unfortunately, we've come worse. Click to find out. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've come parents, way too let's far see for how that. Many moms call. Yeah, I mean, if they care enough, they'll click. <laughs> Listen, it's not even up to us. The people have have voted overwhelmingly for Ela. If you're watching, just so you understand, this election was a fraud. I'm surprised that the third rated is the dot mp4 because I feel like that's kind of like outdated. Mm. Yeah. Ela, if you're that's watching, like, here it is. What do you think? That's like last season of clickbait. Yeah, I feel that. Look at this shit. That's good. That's, that's good. When you see it like oh. that, that's, <laughs> that's fucking insane. That's messed up. I feel like that's like the beginning of an episode on uh, Dateline. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that's the title of the episode. Ela, if you're watching. In this episode, it all internet. started in a small suburb of Los yeah. Angeles. So this I hate husband, to be the this of husband bad calls news. the police. Apparently, well, the wife is gone. We've utilized an incredible power here. I feel like, uh, what was the name of that guy who's like, I become death? <laughs> the perfect placement. Oppenheimer. Thanks, bro. Yeah, Thanks Oppenheimer, that awesome right? placement. Wait, you where can't is... even see the whole fucking thing, Ian. <laughs> Why is it cropped like that? You put it over my face. I get you trying to do a joke. I'm just telling you, you can't even see the pole. But did you see the fade? We there could, was a fade, yeah, that was dope. Since we covered your face, we could title the episode Ethan Went Missing. <laughs> I like that for, for Banana right now, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, thanks. That was a joke, right? Yes, sir. Good, Good thank sir. you. <laughs> oh, you got it. It was like a <laughs> type joke. That's it. Yeah. I guess not. He's just having a it's big It's an old-timey <laughs> joke. Here, uh, it, it should be... But anyway, be, uh, I feel like... Uh, uh, Oppenheimer, you want to the, throw that back the over scientist you, that helped invent the uh, nuclear bomb, mm -hmm. when they tested uh, for the first time, he goes, I have become death, destroyer of worlds. I feel that we've gained that level of power by harnessing <laughs> the chat for clickbait titles. I believe that's a quote from the Hindu, uh, like, Vedic. Bhagavad Gita. There you oh, go. Okay, shout uh, out Agvita. Okay, Cam. Okay, Cam. W Cam. <laughs> Wham. Wham. I think maybe we should do this at the end of every episode, though. Make I a tradition. Maybe not. It's too much to do all the time. I don't know. It's powerful. It's like people say they don't want nuclear uh, power plants because, oh, it's too much. But there yeah. would, we'd fit <laughs> fucking. Is that their argument? If they go, like, oh, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> Just I believe like, yeah. an individual citizen in this country has a right to own a nuclear war. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. I think I think we can put a, a lid on this episode. Yeah, I think so. We've done well. We've come so far. Well, wow, what a what a special treasure of a day here with Seaman. Yeah, I love the call with Seaman. Such a character, man. Legend. That guy is one of a kind. Uh, we had a great time with the clickbait. And, uh, well, we have a lot. I'm a fan. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of stuff left over. Like, there's this great segment we had. I never, I miss this. This is the meme history. It's a reoccurring segment we're going to do. Mm -hmm. The great mm -hmm. Howie Mandel hostage conspiracy of summer 2020. Loved it. I didn't know anything about this, but we'll save it for next week. Oh, okay. Also, the FDA warns about using NyQuil to cook chicken, Ela. People do that? People are using NyQuil to cook chicken. So gross. Apparently. It's a, uh, we'll get into it next week. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic weekend. We love you. We'll be back Monday for another week of shows. So, peace and love, peace and love. This is a serious message. If you are using NyQuil to cook your chicken, please, <laughs> no more NyQuil. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, All right. Anytime, you guys. Where's the music? Be thinking about there Gabe doing is. that 10. There it is. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Give a shout out to my family Ethan, AB, Cam, Dan, H Gila, Ian, Lena, Olivia, Sam, Zach.